everybody Ooh. welcome to the world book day sprints happy world book day except it's not like world book day everywhere it's just world book day in the uk i think which just what? doesn't make sense because it's world book day. <laughs> yeah i completely agree hi everyone it's so yeah because i've had people on instagram being like you know it's not world book day i'm like it is it's just not <laughs> Makes zero zero sense. This but is what Mother's Day being on different days. It's yeah. It is weird. But um yeah, hi. Hello to everyone that's joined me today. Um do you guys want to go around and introduce who you are and what you're reading? Okay. Um <laughs> Hi, I'm Lauren. If you're on Best Patreon, then you know me very well because I'm always on there. Um I'm reading Attack on Titan today and I might jump to my Kindle where I'm reading a really, really saucy serial killer book, but let's just leave it at that. <laughs> Boy. That's just where I'm going to leave it. I can't see anything. <laughs> Is it the one with the FBI and the serial killer? Yeah, I'm reading it for a real um, doing reactions and stuff like that. So far, it's very interesting. Very demented. <laughs> Look forward to seeing the real. <laughs> um... So I cool. am Vicky from What Vicky Read. This is my very first live, so thank you to Beth for hosting me. <laughs> um, I am reading. I've got Soul Lanterns, and I've also got Gallant by the Yes. Um, and I also have my textbook because I have an exam very, very, very soon that I need to do revision for. So I will be reading something from all of this when's the exam maybe next week maybe <laughs> you're not sure <laughs> i was just trying to be like just say very soon but i'm just yeah i'm just very nervous about it this so. is where ashley has to manifest you passing it because I'm oh really god please do about. please do <laughs> get on it I'll, I'll start tonight thank you thank you so much <laughs> Lauren, I think people want to know what your book, the smutty, uh, smutty book's called. I can't wait. Not the title. No, wait, like, can we swear? Yeah, of course you can swear. I just don't know what your audience What's the title? 18 plus live show? I don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's called the Mindfuck series. <laughs> well, I was on your, your story the other, the other day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, basically, I, f I saw a reel um, of this girl who I kind of be I, I believe her reviews. I kind of follow her reviews, and she was like, "No, the, like, the hype is real." And I was like, "Okay, well, let's see if the hype is real then." And so far, I... it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's very popular on TikTok, but One I'm not brave enough to read so it. Far, yet. <laughs> but it didn't really go into much detail. All I know is if you're going into it. You really, really need to read the trigger warnings, but so far it's basically Dexter, but the female is a serial killer. You know that from the get-go, that's not a spoiler. So yeah. Wow. Ashley, follow up from that. <laughs> I have House of Stone, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Which are now like five, 450 pages in. Uh, I thought it was approaching wow. the end, but apparently there's still another 300 pages. So yeah. For a while yet. <laughs> Um, and if you don't know me, I'm from a Fall of Fiction, the YouTube channel. Hey, Lily. Well, I am Lily from Literary Lily. I'm also reading House of Sky and Breath, but oh. I am only like 250 pages in. So, uh, yeah, I, not a lot has happened. Have a full book. <laughs> <laughs> Combine it, we've read it. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to try and get a little bit further in, but it is a chunky book. <laughs> it is. My God, it is huge. It is huge. I took five days. I'm, well, I've read the 250 in like two days because I've been listening to the audiobook on 2.5 times speed. Ooh. So that is my current tactic, and I might continue doing that on sprints. That is <laughs> so fast. I've swapped to doing the audiobook also on 2.5, which I don't usually do, but I feel like it's pretty slow. The narrator is really slow. And I also understand what you mean now. I think it was Lauren talking about the, the Scottish accent. <laughs> <laughs> the Scottish <laughs> accent they got very Irish when it was angry. <laughs> There's yeah. also a really posh British one who's meant to be a villain and he just comes like walking in with a Cockney accent as well. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> yeah. Like, what? Make no sense to me. Make no 
I did the audiobook for the first one, but obviously I haven't got some of the characters that have come into this book. And it was a pretty good audio, but, but I do, yeah, like, do, does the author say, right, so they're Scottish? Or does the narrator think, I, I think they're Scottish? I think what I it think... is, at least what I figured out from reading other fantasy books, because they seem to do this a lot, when there's different groups of people that largely reside in different places, they'll put, like, really strong accents in to differentiate audibly that they're from different places. Mm. So that's why you tend to get, like, Cockney accents, strong British, like, posh accents. Yeah, in this one they've made the Northerners Scottish accents and the evil ones British accents. <laughs> That's about right. That's kind of how they've gone for it. Obviously Sarah J Mass went to this person and was like, hi, we're going to make this character Scor-Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> Do it! And she did it. And I was just kind of sitting there and I was like, Do you know something? I think she was a really good audiobook narrator, but I was just kind of like, is that Scottish? <laughs> I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't think I know the area that this accent is from. I just, I can deal with all that. It's the Cockney one. I can't. It's just like a really but it's not consistently that. Cockney. That's the best part. It's just randomly, it will go Cockney. Oh, I want to hear it now. It's just every um, talk, there'll be a really like deadly serious scene, and then it'll come strolling in, like, "All right, go now." <laughs> I was kind of like, at first, I was like, "Why is there a chav in this book?" <laughs> <laughs> oh man, now I want to hear the accents. Yeah, I read the whole thing physically and so I nearly you, caved. Do you read it again before the third one comes out? Yeah, you're right. I probably completed two years, completely forget it all over again. I definitely preferred the first one to the second one, though, so far. Like, I haven't read either. I'm enjoying <sighs> the second one more than the first one, but to be fair, I had a very unusual opinion on the first one. Yeah, I saw your thoughts on the first one. And- yeah. Mm-hmm. I cried during the first one. I cried. Same. Vicky, you need to read it. <laughs> I know. I keep yeah, well, like I told you before, my sister keeps dragging me for not reading it. Like literally And now me. Like for me months, and Ashley have got Amy to read me. it. Well, she's not picked up yet. A- Amy's gonna be reading it soon. Me and Ashley convinced her at the weekend. Oh, you peer pressure in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We just started out and we were like, You need to I... read this. And it will beat you to death of it. I don't even remember what was it we said Not to her. Like, <laughs> Did you just flash us? No, I've got a vest on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> also, Vicky, I think you and I are in um, matching. Yeah, we, I did notice. <laughs> <laughs> well, book day attire, I feel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we have different people. So, what's everyone else reading? What's everyone that's watching reading? Oh, I'm reading Gallant. I've read about 70 or 80 pages. No, more than that. 90 pages oh, and also no, I are uh, where are you at I am on page 79 I think I 88 started. I'm only just ahead of you oh, quick, <laughs> buddy read um also I'm having tech issues really annoyingly my webcam for my computer is not working so I probably sound really weird at the moment because I have my gaming headset thing on so this is not meant for this um so I apologize for that and I will be trying to get that sorted on the first round of sprints because I do not know why it's doing it. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Believe in a thing called love. I read more in cute, cute book to break up a couple of big reads. I feel like I need that at the moment because I've had to, like I literally I went from reading House of Earth and Blood to then reading House of Sky and Breath back to back. Um, that's a lot of face smart. It's a lot of face smart. <laughs> That's what I've just done as well. Yeah. Something going on because I'm also reading Blood Mercy, which is also a 700 page political fantasy romance. And when I say fantasy romance, like it's the most formal thing I've probably ever read, but in a way where it's like kind, kind of a vibe, you know? But yeah. <laughs> I've just read like 50 pages of pure smoke and I'm like, Jesus Christ, we're still going. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> As a mostly romance reader, this does not phase me. <laughs> like, I break up my romance reads with fantasy reads at this point. Sounds like a baby. It's just the fact that, like, both that and the House of Sky and Breath are both, like, 700, 800 pages. And I yeah. Just, like, at the same yeah, time, intense. like, I haven't finished a book in a decade. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's thick, thick reads. Get to I, it, we have a, it. a lot of mass being read. Mm. Shut in Amber, it's reading Jane. <laughs> yes, it is. See, so, yeah, I took my bookcase dress off when I got home, get rid of the children's dress. 
<laughs> yeah, don't blame you, Katie. <laughs> It's <laughs> more like Andy LaRue. Oh, this arrived for me yesterday. Very excited. It's Lucy Foley's new book. Looks really good. Although I read The Hunting Party a couple of months ago by her and was really disappointed, oh. but I loved the guest list. So I think she improved considerably between writing those two. Mm. Daughter of the Moon Goddess. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> 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 we cheered to start with and then the message goes yeah. down the hill from there <laughs> you could tell like we all had the same reading speed there. Yeah. <laughs> keep going keep reading it oh, oh Emma you're nearly done 17 minutes left oh. Bear Town I'm going through the secret of Whitestone Gate nice Ooh, that's a mix that is oh, wow. a mix right there upside falling Oh god, I hope it gets you out of the slump. Oh, Not the one. <laughs> we are like this is the evening of heavy books. Like I mean I'm I mean I, Gallant's not particularly heavy, but like you guys are reading heavy. <laughs> yeah, this is really heavy. Yeah, that looks it. That really does. Do you know something? It's it's heavy emotionally. That's what we'll go with. You keep telling yourself that. <laughs> You haven't seen it, Vicky. You haven't seen it. <laughs> Vicky, we have another studier to join you here. Hey. Okay. the deep. Yeah. I love the, the um, name of this. Started to to my dog. <laughs> yeah. We're not free. How's this going? Breath of Skull Degree. That's also big, isn't it? Oh, although Animal Crossing. Could you do any of this audio book, Lizzie, and do Animal Crossing at the same time? Mm. Hello. Hello. Rereading the last book in Black Blade series. I haven't heard of that one. So surprised mm. because some events have slipped That's my nice. mind. Pretty breathless. Oh, hopefully we can get get going with some good ones then. Yes, Ian, I saw you were reading this on Twitter. <laughs> so good. I'm glad that you're loving it. Excellent choice. I've had Ready. a lot about this one. <laughs> yeah, so I film or something coming out soon i'm sure i saw something oh is that oh Facebook yes media. yeah i think i've heard that it looks good yeah didn't have to oh no no oh oh I'm no sorry. that's a shame i feel like it makes it's... me feel as if i'm getting bad again ashley we actually enjoy a book the same book and mm -hmm. then everyone else is dnf and it wasn't <laughs> <laughs> you don't like to go with the flow guys <laughs> We're unique. <laughs> King's Wicked, I think, or Song of Achilles. Kingdom of the Wicked. Kingdom of the Wicked. <laughs> well, Vicky thinks you should read Kingdom of the Wicked. <laughs> Wait, is that the first one or the second Achilles. one? But Kingdom of the Wicked is the first, isn't it? Yeah. yeah I don't know if I like it when authors give their books like the same variants of names. Like, I think I'd rather just something completely different because it confuses the crap out of me. Don't even get me started on how many like titles have something to do with vicious, wicked, ruin, blood, ash. <laughs> yes, <laughs> fire probably in there as well somewhere. It's something they all have in common is they are all smutty. <laughs> yeah, kingdom as well, the kingdom of or something like that, or a like something similar to like a Akamath, like a court, a kingdom. Yes, a something of something. A bed of smut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to go see this new Death on the Nile film, but at the same time, like I don't think they've quite got it with these new Christie ones because I watched the Poirot. Um, the first, what was it? Um, Murder on the Orient Express, and it was it was fine, but it wasn't mm -hmm. great. We have many. I don't think we've even got a. Is Ariadne? Ariadne has more votes. No, it doesn't really. If you count Vicky's vote for King of the Wicked, we can't help you. We cannot I'll help you, Izzy. Achilles. <laughs> <laughs> great. Now they've all got equal votes. <laughs> Look at that! Another agreement. My God, we really need to make a list of these books. Where's my phone? <laughs> I think we should start like a Google Doc. I think that, <laughs> that could be a vlog, a vlog series, reading the books that Lauren and I agree on. Yeah, this is a running joke now where every single book that Lauren recommended me, I've hated in DNF. 
And we were just like, there must be something because we're both obsessed with bone season. So we're like, where is the, the crossover of books that we like? <laughs> we're trying to figure it out. <laughs> we were like walking through Toppins and we were like, The Raven Voice, Song of Achilles. <laughs> and like, just listen, and it, we actually listed quite a few to the point where I can't actually remember all the ones you have DNF'd. I know you DNF the deal, but I can't remember what else. Neither can I. Laura, what was the book that I read recently? You, you said someone told you you'd like it because it was like the bone season or it had it had that kind of vibe to it. The gods monster. Oh, one gods of you? jade and shadow. Yeah, gods of jade and shadow. Have you read that one, Ashley? No, not yet. There you go. You can both try that. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I just find his moustache hilarious on Kenneth Branagh. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. I can't take it seriously. <laughs> it's just not meant to be there, is it? And what is it like they've edited Army Hammer or whatever his name is out of the trailer or something like that, yet he's still mm -hmm. in the film and I'm just like, this is just, are we meant to look at him or not? Like, what's happening here? So but weird. What's the point in even edit him out of the trailer, like if he's going to be in the movie? <laughs> but then he's like tiny in the background of the poster. I'm like, okay, let's see what we're going with here. Um, Yay from Finishing Midnight in Everwood. I love that book. March of Mammoth Challenge. Is that as in like mammoth books or something else? Like is it in size? Don't flash us again, Lauren. Actual I, flash, I legit thought it was your skin. I genuinely thought, oh my no, God, yeah, she's not got a bra on and she's just flashed. <laughs> I have a nude uh, vest on because I wear them underneath my shirts. And you were so casual. I was like, okay, she doesn't care. That's if it was fine. an actual bra, then I would be like, ah! <laughs> oh my god okay you um so the plan just in case <laughs> not safe for work content lauren <laughs> will be flashing <laughs> um plan for the eve we've got a couple of games and we'll do some sprints um i'll kind of space the games out i feel like so that we can kind of do them in between sprints um but do we want to kick a, a kick a part of a game off now guys are you are you prepped do you have what you need yeah. for the games which game? Yeah. Which, game? <laughs> which, game? What, what which game? one do you have the things you need for? I have everything. It's just what I'm grabbing from around me. <laughs> yeah. Has everyone yeah. got everything? Yeah. Pretty, pretty much, I think. Okay. Um, all right. <laughs> um, okay. Let's do the a little bit of the drawing one first. Because okay. that sounds fun. And we'll do a couple of books now and then a couple of books after a little break. <laughs> Not an artist, disclaimer. <laughs> You're also going to be blind essentially it. blind, so you, I don't think there's any skills I mean, for I artists. Well take, I might as well take my glasses off and then I pretty much... <laughs> I was know. just thinking that. I was like, should I just do that? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> yeah. I mean, do I play as well if I know what the cover... I mean, we're all going to be looking at the cover. I'm going to show you the cover. Oh, you are going to show us the cover? Yeah, I'm going to show you the cover. So hang on, I'll just describe what this is for everyone that doesn't know. Um, so I have I have a stack. I have five, but we can like go through more of them later um, of books. I've tried to grab books that I think the cover would be interesting to try and replicate. Then these guys are going to blind themselves, blindfold themselves, not blind themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Permanent <Yes>. blindness. <laughs> if you're not dedicated enough, you're gone. Uh, blindfold themselves and draw their version of 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 the book cover but without being able to see it so um you know you can do that if you want you can like keep a line on the page and not not break the page line you can try and be really artistic with it that wasn't a word um whatever you want and you'll have a timer in which to do it do you think oh. a minute is fair or do you want longer um i think a minute uh, yeah, be yeah, a minute. Yeah. i mean i'm not gonna be able to see so you might just <laughs> a minute it's gonna look it's gonna look awful whatever it is okay i'm just using this entire white oh hang on i need my glasses Fine. on so i can't see the screen guys i've got to show you the book first by the way for everyone that's really eagerly putting their blindfolds on okay, I just, like, <laughs> Watch me do i draw as well or shall yeah. i just judge your drawing yeah i draw okay yeah. I, i'll get a hang on Drawing Sorry, I feel like... chat the slide <laughs> yeah what yeah, we'll let the chat. I need paper now. I really I hope that Lauren just ends up drawing on the margins of her screen. <laughs> yeah. Like, actually, watch me like and reset my entire iPad. <laughs> <laughs> I need a notepad. 
Oh no! Oh, so Where do I keep these things? You're Hang on, I'm muting myself because I feel like I'm really sensitive. <laughs> I love that that was wow. just a statement that Beth ended on. I'm really sensitive. <laughs> I don't really know what she meant by it, so I'm just taking it as she said. Really <laughs> I said I'm going to mute myself whilst I look for the notepad because like my sound's really sensitive, so I don't want it to hear me rummaging. <laughs> <laughs> but I am also in a very vulnerable place right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Look, we're all just sat here. I have never experienced my entire life. Okay. <laughs> The flower crown. Okay. No, it's the fluffy dressing gown. Vicky, you look like you've got a fez on. <laughs> Maybe I do. <laughs> Don't say okay. me. Gosh. Um, all right, I've got five books in a stack. Going from the bottom, um, oh, Lily, give me a number. Four. Okay. All right. This is actually probably a good one to start with. This is kind of the simplest. Nice. Let me get a timer ready. Hang on. Oh, oh no. Okay. Get to see with, like, I am doing this on lined paper, but I haven't got anything else. <laughs> oh, I've got to have a bloody head thing, haven't I? God damn it. <laughs> I love the variety of like, materials that we've brought out. I've got a whiteboard. What's got like that? <laughs> I've got a stack of paper. <laughs> this is just <laughs> really I should be writing answers in this, but. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Come my ear with oh, oh, sorry, it's going to be so sorry. loud. Yes, you did. <laughs> Who says that was going to be Okay. Good? Right, you can have five seconds to look at the cover. Oh, what? <laughs> Is that fair? Yeah. Ten seconds? Ten seconds. You can have ten seconds to look at the cover. And oh, then we, I'll set a one minute timer, okay? Oh, and no. everyone watching, you guys have got to judge who you think is best. <laughs> right. <laughs> Here's the cover. You have ten seconds. Oh, no. Do we have to do? Um, do we need to rate the title? You do it however you want. the The, the guys will judge who who the best is. Right. Okay. Okay. That's that's ten seconds. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, the cat screeching. Your minute begins. Hang on. <laughs> ready? Blindfolds on. Yeah. Go. Oh, I don't even know if my pen's on. <laughs> I didn't look at it. I just showed you guys. <laughs> well, you chose it, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what it is. Uh, I have no concept of like where I've drawn already. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm the app at this point. <laughs> no, I, I made the mistake of putting my pen off the paper. Yeah, yeah I've done that too. I'm going to try I and colour in the centre. And I don't know if you know if it's the middle. So that's what I can be doing. Oh, God. I've just written an name and I don't even uh, know. I think I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. I don't, I don't I know what else to do. About 10 seconds. I just, I just realised you're probably not going to be able to see mine very well because I did it in pencil, which wasn't smart. Time. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, oh, I'm not done oh, too dear. badly there. <laughs> okay, um, right, we will one by one reveal. I like this look I've got going on as well. <laughs> we will one by good. one reveal um, and what we've drawn. We'll go, we'll go in reverse order this time. So, Lily, if you could show us your drawing, oh, please. Can you... you can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go over it in pen. I won't make any changes. Come back to okay. me. <laughs> All right, Ashley, your drawing, please. I don't even know if it's the right author that I've written. But this is, this well, is that's nice. Good. Oh, that's not bad, that is. <laughs> that's annoyingly good. Yeah, that's that is good. annoyingly good. All right, <laughs> okay. I imagine that she managed to get the hunting party in the right place. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Fez wearing Vicky, what's your, um, your drawing look like? Don't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the writing, the writing is you know, great, actually. I'm, like... Your second antler looks like a pig kind of going like... <laughs> okay, uh, right. First of all, leave my drawing alone. I am um, a an artiste. <laughs> okay, Lauren, yours, please. Let me just talk about oh. my screen brightness. Oh, oh, that's not bad. Look at the title. <laughs> 
I mean, yeah, you've lost the title a little bit. Okay. Yeah, Why should write the author, author name? I tried to write author name down here, name it all covered, like the ones I write the letters on top. And uh, this um, is uh, my sky antenna as well. I got oh, that's pretty good. Letters. Okay. <laughs> I actually tried to do 3D antlers though. That's I thing. tried to do, yeah, I, I also tried to do this. Um, this this is mine. Well, but... <laughs> I tried to do that in the middle, but I'd completely written all of this around it first. So I think it's pretty good that I even got it remotely near. I mean, it looks like hair. giving it hair. <laughs> yeah, does it have hair? Hang on, we probably what? should have been comparing the um, OG. <laughs> and Lily, let's see, let's see yours. <laughs> it looks like a potato with a brown. I was like somewhat proud of it when I saw everyone else's. I'm like, okay, cool. I didn't win this round. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, amazing. All right. Okay, so if everyone could just hold theirs up for everyone watching to have a look, um, and if you guys oh, in the comments can just drop in in your winner, please. <laughs> um. Also, it does look like you're wearing a flower crown in a way, Ashley. <laughs> I like it looks like I'm wearing a bandana. <laughs> Anyone jumping into the live right now? <laughs> I just need to go and let my cat into the room. I'll be back. Okay. Uh, yeah, see, this idea came from something I did with my patrons for our Christmas party where we all had to draw reindeer with um, our eyes shut and they, they looked rather fantastic. Okay, hang on. Ashley, Ashley, Ashley. One. Who's one? Am I one? <laughs> <laughs> great moment to join great art ashley oh ashley you just you, you've walked away with it although lauren's a close second good god not not one single person has voted for anyone but ashley <laughs> i'd like to think the number one is me but <laughs> okay solid um all right we'll we'll do another one ashley is the winner of that round you can now pick a number between one and four two Two. Two, okay. Hang on. The iPad's going to start getting lower and lower because you're on the books. <laughs> <laughs> was ten, Was a minute enough? Yeah. yeah. I think so. I felt okay. like it was the ages and then it went yeah. off like, as I was finished. So, so I should try. All right, have you, are you ready to see the next one? Oh, okay. All right, you've got 10 seconds again. Oh, how many oh, how Flowers. Many Sarah Penner is the author. I'm just going to write more for Okay, ready? Oh, God, no. <laughs> Go. <laughs> oh, shit, I forgot to clear my canvas. Can <laughs> I clear my canvas? <laughs> Right, I'm back. I don't even know if I don't remember the name. The Lost Apothecary. Thanks. That's okay. It's a good book as well, uh, if anyone wants a good historical fit cross of modern day mystery feminist. I'm currently being attacked by a cat, so I would like a handicap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, time. <laughs> I thought I did the bottle so oh. much bigger than I did. <laughs> oh, what? I did reasonably well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd done the bottle well, and the answer is no. <laughs> Is anyone else getting an echo? echo. She did not. She did not. Really well, really well. No. Strange. I'm late. Cassandra, it's a fun time to be late. We're um, we're doing some art. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, there is an echo. Oh. There is a bit of an echo. I can hear myself. Hello. No, sorry. It it might be you, Beth. 
<laughs> in the next so sprint, it might be just <laughs> <finished. laughs> All right. In the next sprints, I will be sorting out whatever the hell is happening with my computer and sort it out. So I'll I'll mute myself when I'm not talking. Um, fine, but if sounds really dramatic, like like a game show. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, echo only on Vicky. Is it a bad echo? Well, it's me, so it can't be. Faintly. I heard an echo heard of, my, echo own of my own voice. Yeah, I can hear an echo, hear of, everyone. An echo of everyone. Ah, shit. Uh, well, Def, I don't know why this echo. text stuff. I've, I've been streaming live every night and it's suddenly now not working, so that's great. Um, <laughs> all right, so let's go Lauren first and then... Oh, wait, no, I'm, I'm technically first in the line then, I suppose, aren't I? Forget about myself, right. Here's... Um, hang on, there's what the cover looks like. This is what we were going for. Oh. And here is mine. I thought I'd made the bottle a lot bigger than that. <laughs> I was like, this is a problem where I thought I ran out of space. And so I, <laughs> I've, I would like credit for putting a novel by Sarah Penner because I'm pretty sure that, oh, I wrapped the mic, sorry. It does say oh, a novel. Oh. So um, <laughs> yeah, that's that's mine. And then um, we'll go Lauren to Vicky to Ashley to Lily. I'll meet myself now. I would rather not, but fine. <laughs> Beautiful. Bring it, bring it, bring it closer. What happened? Bring closer. It looks like a map with then a drinking bottle in the corner of the map or something. I feel like I need to like show everyone Mars skills after this to show people that I can draw. Just I need not my eyes for it. But yeah, that's mine. That's, mine. that's great. Like, once again, the okay. table has merged. Yeah, nice. Vicky? <sighs> <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad. Is, is it a balloon? It? No, it's meant to be a bottle, but I, just, oh. I, got, I got this 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 bit all wrong, to be honest. <laughs> really wrong. But I did it is pretty. And also I thought you said that a surname was K, so I, I didn't know who the, I didn't know who it was, it was Sarah K. <laughs> this is why I'm writing the author name because I won't remember the author's name. No, I didn't, I didn't write it the last time, and now I'm not ever doing it again. No, right, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Ashley, it's not as good as my last one, guys. <laughs> I tried to do calligraphy with this. Like, why was it? <laughs> what happened to apothecary? Why did that manage to to go down to another yeah, line? What, 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 <laughs> I went out of space. I went the confidence. This is what happened. I mean, yeah, this flower is not too bad for the rest of it. No, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's and they're actually pretty similar to the actual that's what flower. I was to do, I yeah. Like, yeah. All right. Yeah, that's good. All right, Lily. Wow, us with yours. Which I that's it was oh, so that's I pretty good. Lauren tactic of just writing author name. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> I feel like we've all created our own border around the cover where it wasn't actually. <laughs> I just remember there being flowers. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. If we can all um, hold ours up, and um, everyone in the in the audience can pick. Your winner this time, please. I can see Amy in the chat, and if Amy doesn't vote for me, tomorrow's going to be very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> it got lost. <laughs> it yeah. Oh my god, I got a point. Yes. <gasps> oh, wait, hang on, they're coming in quick. I'm going to give it a second, then I'll. I was going to say, I have not wanted this round. <laughs> I don't think I'm winning any money. No, I am no, definitely, I'm definitely, I'm definitely way off. I feel like Becca's being nice and I would have been well with this game, so I'd have chosen like three intricate patterns and patterns. I can still change. I'm counting them. <laughs> I think I've got that by like five. I think so too. Really? Okay. I've seen more lilies. No, there's like, there's ten lilies and fifteen Beths, I think. 
Oh, God, that's a lot. I could be wrong. I should probably write this down somewhere, shouldn't I? I'm going to clear my canvas so I don't have the same debacle as last time. <laughs> okay. So Do we want... Any looking at this masterpiece? Yes. yes. It's yes. really good. It's really good. Do we want any more of these, or do we want to do a couple more after we sprint? We could wait until after so that you can sort your tech things out. Cause yeah, I do not understand what the hell's happening with it. So, yeah, I, I probably, hopefully... Oh, it's worse. Great. I'll probably leave and come back in. Um, but, yeah, okay. All right, so let's do a sprint. Um, what time is it? 7.07. Um, what are you in the mood for, guys, short or long, um, in terms of sprinting? Just as long as it takes you to get your things sorted, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, it's a good fringe. Fine for her. Um uh should we go for uh twenty two then just to start off? Twenty two. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. As in like, <laughs> I was like, I was like Super precise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, I'm gonna hopefully sort this out. I don't understand what it's doing, but yeah, okay. All right, full we'll sprint. <laughs> revise. I know. I'm like, do I revise or do I read? Revise now and read later. Yeah. That's All right, we will. We will do a longer sprint um, in a little bit, but I just want to try and make sure this is working properly. So cool. All right, see you in a bit.
silently interrupting your sprints. That was like true ASMR. Wow. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm, I'm back and I can actually concentrate now. I apologize for the start of that live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're good. I don't know what Sorry. the hell happened there. But... <laughs> I love Patricia's little squeaky. How did everyone do? Pretty good. How's the uh, the revision going, Vicky? It's going. I just did like <laughs> like a solid 20, solid twenty two minutes. That's good. So, well, almost solid. I text my sister to say I was on the line. <laughs> well, that's got to be done. Yeah. That's um, right. He saw me waving. I was waving at her. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'll say her, Jay Masses, how, how are you guys finding it? Um, I read about 30 pages, I think. There was a sexy... You've all now witnessed my poker face. Congrats. <laughs> oh, I wish I was aware of that. I managed like 40 pages, but thankfully no sex scenes. <laughs> I was listening to the audiobook, so I think I was probably... I, I'm more expressive when I'm listening to the audiobook because I feel like it's more unexpected. Um, yeah. I just cringe more. Like, I'm fine reading it, but if someone's saying it to me, I'm like, ugh, get away. Yeah. <laughs> I, Luckily, I read... I've just been at, like, a funny bit, so that's that's what yeah. I've had so far. I was reading one of the... what well, I found the most hilarious sex scenes on my Patreon Live last week or the week before. I was, I was laughing quite a bit. <laughs> Weird, weird words used. Four chaps of Gallant tearing through. I am now on part uh, three of Gallant, which is oh. is good. the UK version of Gallant just a normal book? Because it as looks opposed like, to it looks like the US one's like wider than the usual paperback, and I find it really strange. Like it's a square, it one. It's like a square. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. think I've seen the US. Well, that's just the arc, though. Yeah, I don't know if they would print the like the actual finished copy on the square one. Well, the only yeah. thing I can think of is, hang on, if I find an example, there's like there? art throughout it yeah. and letters. Because that's the thing. Like, I didn't know there was that many illustrations to like warrant it being a different. There's not like I mean <laughs> they're kind of you could... hang on. Can you see the grey? Not that big yeah. grey, but you can't really tell. There's there's quite a few yeah. um, throughout, but... Oh, no, we had to do another DNF. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that you're making progress in the next book. Hello, Amy, welcome. Hello. We Hello. Are, yeah, I'm good. good. Pretty good. Hello. I was on Animal Crossing and not really. <laughs> <laughs> Ben Essentially, what happens when your Patreon sprints all the time, which is what yeah. we need to do. <laughs> Another Animal Crossing watch YouTube will read next time. Read 35 pages, breathless, nice. tied up after dinner, this is an audiobook. Picture Ariadne. Hi. Nice. It's very quick read, Ariadne, I found. Did my lesson in German. Good. Good. Another one on my team. <laughs> <Add in. laughs> no reading yet. We'll start the next sprint. 30 pages of secret OG Whitestone Gate. Middle grades are so satisfyingly quick reads. Nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, they are square item. Yeah. I just saw it and was like, what is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I <didn't like> that. <laughs> well, I don't know why I found it comically funny how small Galatea, Galatea or however you meant to say it, actually is. Mm. I think, did you put it on your Instagram story, actually, when you got yours? Was it you that I saw? Yeah, and I saw it and I was like, is that disproportionate or is it tiny and then I saw more stones I was like it's so small Actually, it's just a really <laughs> big hand yeah. why didn't I like so, really so many people who saw the announcement that were like I'm gonna do a reading vlog of this and I had read the ebook previously and I was like no you're not one and I started it and I finished it <laughs> yeah. my sister received her copy of it yesterday and I was like around my parents and mm. she got it and it was like 
it was just in one of those brown like kind of thin envelopes mm-hmm. and then she like opened it and then like just went like that and it just dropped on the floor and she was just like oh <laughs> it just thought it was going to be bigger but it was just yeah. reaction, just like tipping it on the floor and then just being like ow <laughs> So I remember I was going to read it last year on Kindle for Bookopolathon and I remember chatting with some of you guys about it and you were like, oh no, it's, that's, that's really small, like it's really small. Yeah. Um, so I, I chose not to for my own challenge. <laughs> oh, is this, wait, is there a new one? Is that a new yes, one? Yes, that's a new one that came out in January. I need to read that. Do you know what? I, I never series. know that those books have come out. I always just stumble upon the fact they, that they They do out. kind of like sneak out and you have they to just keep an eye on it. Yeah, I'm also in part three, quite enjoying it so far. Still waiting for my printer copy reading ebook at the moment. I'm sad. Yeah, the letter formatting is pretty cool, but I think is it the eighth the publication's been moved to? Because Waterstone said the tenth. Yeah, so I think I think it's the eighth now in the UK because it was meant okay. to be the first. I don't yeah. know if it's the age of the first or um, the US one though. Yeah, also, it's, I can yeah, hear so myself echoing one. again. Oh no. Someone else talk and see if you echo. Hello. <laughs> echoing? I don't think anyone else is echoing. No. Oh, I, I shouldn't be now because I've got my... No. I shouldn't be echoing now because I've got my mic set up and everything. I can only hear Vicky echoing. I can't hear Vicky echoing. I was going to say, I think it stopped again now, so it might just be... Yeah. Up. Yeah, I can't hear it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I have not taken do you know I've lost what I've pre-ordered I don't even know what I've pre-ordered with Waterstones anymore I know you can view it in the orders but like there's a lot of orders <laughs> I have a notion page to keep track of them and I went and did loads of pre-orders today <laughs> yeah that's smart I should see if I've got any more to pre-order but I keep pre-ordering, pre-ordering stuff and then finding out I'm getting it somewhere else and being like oh I'll just go and cancel that yeah. then <laughs> no. yeah seven yeah it's still seven ninety nine for the the, mm. the little tiny book. Yes, this That's is why I thought it would be bigger. <laughs> Come every January. Yeah, red. Reading my chat. Oh. oh, nice. Oh, did you get I'm the strand jealous. one? Did you get the IKEA one, Ian, that you said to me about? About six or seven. I thought he was talking about his Animal Crossing island. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Flying for jobs. Oh, good luck. Oh. Yay! Nice. <laughs> I've literally bought one and I've never used one. <laughs> I had like... one as a teenager. <laughs> yeah, do you ever sit in it? Good things. I sit in mine quite a bit. My I've never... reading chair was my only place to sit when I came down. I was like, I'm not moving from this reading chair. This is my seat. If I go anywhere else, then I will be responsible for any yeah. mistakes. <laughs> also it's occurred to me that you know um lauren and lily i've separately said to both of you that i think my secret lab chair is big and huge now seeing mm-hmm. us both in it mine is bigger because the top of mine goes above my head whereas you guys yeah. your heads go above the top of your chair yeah well you got the titan yeah because i'm a titan <laughs> yeah Ironic. i did not even though she will not read attack on titan true <laughs> true i started reading attack on titan but it oh. just got very expensive <laughs> There's so many volumes. It scares me. It's not scary, it's funny. It's not not that scary. scary. It's really not. It's it's long limbs and stuff. I don't like it. It's It's fine. It's fine. (laughs) That's what I'm saying. What colour Ian? What colour? It reminds me of someone in college, so I can just never read it. I can't say it. (laughs) Reminds you of someone in college. Please tell me that someone is called Levi and please tell me he's single. No. <laughs> oh. Is it because one of the they remind you of a Titan, or because they liked it? Because they were like obsessed with it, and I never stopped hearing about it. I really <laughs> thought they reminded you of a Titan. And I was just going with it. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you escaped that person, but then you met me. <laughs> the lucky, lucky chairs you. are so good. <laughs> they are so worth the money. Yeah. yeah. Although, can I just say, things need to stop calling themselves names that sound like the same brands we've got secret lab we're currently streaming on stream lab yeah. oh no wait stream yard, stream stream yard. <laughs> when i do my twitch that's on stream lab which is like it, 
all three of the oh so annoying i just need <laughs> that secret lab attack on titan chair but i don't need it to sit on i just need it to sit in a corner and look pretty <laughs> i wanted the pokemon um chair but it wasn't out in the UK yet, and also my work said they'd buy me the chair, and I think it probably would have been a different level if I was like, there's this one with Pikachu on the back. <laughs> See, I've made the agreement with my boyfriend when we move in together, he's going to have this chair, and then I'm going to buy a much cuter version of the Secret Lab chair and get a nice design one. Yeah, they do do yeah. some really nice ones. It makes me feel really boring sometimes, because I'm like, all the stuff that I like in terms of patterns and colours don't tend to be the ones that like mm. general brands go for. Mm. So I usually just end up with grey. <laughs> I wish there was a sage green one of this because the green was like a mint green because I've got the arctic blue. I don't think you can retell really yeah. it's like, but I really wish there was a green. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I might get the turquoise one. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. I'm but just it the same green but it's like even mm. the other day I bought an Udi and I'm just like, all of these designs are really cute, but they're all like bright blue, pink. Yeah. And I'm just no, like, I agree that Udi designs are not the best. No, so yeah, like, some of them are really questionable, <laughs> to be fair. I've got the, what's it, the cud, cuddly, cud.ly? Yeah, that's um, what I yeah. have. Yeah, and they've got like, I've got quite a nice deep, blue, I'm saying nice, like we're not wearing a blanket with arms. It's not exactly <laughs> that. Sometimes I have to open the door in it and I try and wrap it around me like it's a dressing gown rather than... <laughs> I get is. so many compliments on it though. Like when mm. I lived on my own, like answer the door in my cuddly hoodie thing, they would always be like, "Oh my god, where did you get this?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like we've passed the point of being like, "Oh, you can't answer the door in your pajamas," and everyone's just like, "Where did you get that?" <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some weird horror stories about people opening the door in their pajamas and then the delivery person thinking it's an invite of stuff, and I'm like, "What's that? No." <laughs> oh, I've never heard of that. Yeah. No. Yeah, I've seen someone opening them in pajama shorts. I one of the delivery people around here is someone I went to school with and was friends with at school. And every time I'm like, is it going to be him? Is it going to be him? Because his name isn't even on the bloody. They all have different names. What their actual names are on the apps. So that's oh. confusing. It's annoying. I feel, like, I feel like all the Domino's delivery people have seen every form of my pajamas. <laughs> Just say something else then. <laughs> I don't have a tip, but perhaps you'd like to come inside. No, it's oh, like, oh no. It's like they'll come to the door and I'll have my Attack on Titan jumper on. They'll come to the door and I'll have this on. They'll come to the door and I'll get my green pajamas on. Like they've seen literally every single set of pajamas I own at this point. And I'm just like, I order from you too much, don't I? And they're like, yeah. <laughs> Ashley, you've peaked. You are influencer. <laughs> I was, I was there when this happened. <laughs> I was streaming. <laughs> you get so many compliments. Yeah, I do yeah, love my family. I'm hmm? waiting for the day when, because it's always Hermes, they leave all of my deliveries like down four flights of stairs. And I'm like, there's going to be a day where I risk it and run into someone wearing that. <laughs> <laughs> No. I love yeah. that you guys are all self-conscious about it and I'm just like, I would take the bins out in it, like I don't care oh, no, I, do that too. I do that too The bins for me is a bit of a hike to take the bins out is, um... yeah. I'd have to go like halfway down my road to do that Yeah, <laughs> yeah I have to cross the road, go through a car park and then go to the bins <laughs> I wouldn't want the Udi to go near the bins to be honest Yeah, They are not in a nice place to be There was one night we went to the bins actually and it was like a full moon out and I was getting really excited. I was like, it's a full moon and I started dancing. In your in an Udi? No, no, just in my normal clothes, but I was still dancing. <laughs> I just remember that and turned into the bin. This is fair. That is a mood. Yeah. I answer my door in my pajamas. I'm not bothered about that, but if it's I'm going down four flights of stairs. Yeah, it's the neighbours. Uh, my neighbours. But you know yeah. I would see all of them if that happened. <laughs> I really did not care. I'm saying this and my neighbours can probably hear me having this conversation right now. So <laughs> they're probably like, we don't give a shit. Assholes! <laughs> the person that lives below me, that's bedroom is below me right now. I went to school with her um, up until like year nine. So I do feel a bit more conscious of, of mm -hmm. her seeing me. I'm like, I am cool. I just wear a blanket with arms. <laughs> she probably does the same though. Nah. <laughs> no, yeah. This is like a good shout. The person opposite has already, like, the few times I have seen him has always been like, you're really good at singing. And I'm like, oh, you're one of those that's going to comment on everything I do. <laughs> I <laughs> hate that. <laughs> oh, I think no. I was just quite lucky that where I lived, 
the I only ever interacted with one neighbor and mm. she was the one that lived above me and so like I, I I didn't care what they saw like how they saw me because we never spoke to each other anyway so they weren't going to say anything yeah. I um as as Lily is aware oh actually he's walking past right now my neighbor Lily and I went out for dinner the other day and we got back and looked in the hallway and um <gasps> there's, he got his guitar? There's, there's a bass guitar and like pedals and stuff and potentially amp related things in the hallway outside my neighbor's flat and I just looked at it like please don't be starting a band please don't be starting a band <laughs> Have you so been playing far, music? No, however, my, my stepdad and sister came around last week and when they were leaving, we were in the hallway and I could suddenly hear, he's right by my door, <laughs> I could suddenly hear him singing um, and I was like, okay, all right, maybe maybe the band is starting. <laughs> I didn't actually see an amp in the pile though, so he could be just plugging yeah. headphones into the guitar and playing that way. I'm saying this like I'm not playing my keyboard, but then I put headphones in, so... I was going to say, the neighbour downstairs, oh my god, every single day, without fail, he is singing. Like, you can hear him. <laughs> and that is no way for me, considering I'm above, and these are like high ceilings, so it's not exactly like I'm close to him. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear him, and I finally got it on camera yesterday, and I'm just like, told you, I can hear him on camera when I'm talking. <laughs> so when I was in the yeah. flat my living room are uh, the building had the weirdest layout known to man like i genuinely didn't know which front doors matched which flats because our uh, the building with layout was weird so it meant that the person above me um when she moved out new neighbors moved in it was a couple and their bedroom was above my living room so basically i couldn't be in my living room in the evening sometimes because their bedroom was above oh. it was horrendous that is like the worst <laughs> that's my worry i mean my that you know when a bedroom is like kind of you can tell the double the bed is meant to go along a certain wall because of the plug sockets and the light switches and things so my my bed is meant to go with the headboard against his headboard wall so headboard to headboard essentially when I moved in I there wasn't anyone living in the other flat which was a lovely six months and I put my bed the other way like the headboard is against this wall instead I know his headboard is against my wall I know it's there and I just dread the day I hear something because I can hear him <laughs> plugging in his phone charger in the mornings and stuff. So Oh no. Yeah, that's that's a great fun thing to have to think about. Fun. <laughs> I'm just like my neighbour is like my third grand. So I'm like, what's up? And she's like, hi. <laughs> Your third grand? Yeah, because I mean I had two grands, but they passed away, so I've got a third grand next door. She's known me my entire life, so she's like a third grand. That's cute. Oh, see, I was just thinking, like, how many? I was like, how many? It was actually like funny once. We, uh, my birthday, um, we had our fire pit out, and me and uh, Amy Garvey were sitting having like s'mores and stuff. And this woman, right? I kid you not, she's smaller than me. She's really, like, honest to God, like four foot eight or something tiny and she just she, she just went oh s'mores but we couldn't see anything we could just see like this top <laughs> like grey hair just like floating past the fence <laughs> and I absolutely jumped out my skin <laughs> like, actually terrified and Amy can vouch for it we were sitting there just like who yeah. is that <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was give like, more. yeah come she's the one that likes your voice Beth oh thanks yeah she likes Beth's voice some yeah. uh, people on dating apps do not. <laughs> <laughs> they think I'm an AI. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is slightly worrying and one of the reasons I've deleted all my dating apps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Mm. I have one of my. Sorry. <laughs> so you guys, okay. There's a like thing not across the road from me, it's like a little bit further down. And they've got. Um, like an ice cream parlor starting underneath and I'm just like I wonder if they had to ask permission for the people living above that if they mm. can open that kind of shop underneath because it's just going to be like refrigerators all the time and stuff <laughs> yeah that's going to be annoying that's not surely it's like something you need to be at like I don't know if it's a shop space below they need to be like by the way there's a shop space below someone might buy this at some point and like put refrigerators yeah. in it mm. yeah I had a friend at uni that lived above the uh, working men's club of the town. Oh, wow. So, but it was surprisingly quiet because they, oh. it was in like the middle of a housing estate. So they had a curfew of like 11 o'clock, but between like 8pm and 10pm, it was loud. 
Mm-hmm. And so I, she always had to like go out if she needed to focus at that time. That's annoying. Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't think I'd be able to deal with that. I'm glad that it's not too loud here. Um, What's well, not to like about yeah. Yeah, sorry. Say lunch. Lunch. I don't know why you like me saying lunch. It's it normal. Lunch. To me. The the basically the, the issue I had on the dating apps was that every every three to four days somebody would say I was catfishing and wasn't real because my voice sounded like they'd got an AI to speak because there was a feature on Hinge, was it, where you could voice yeah, record? Hinge. Yeah, you can voice record a response. And I did that and they said that I was um, very clearly an AI. Say water. Yeah, great. Uh, what? Water? Say water. water. Yeah. Water. Why? Wait, say murder. Murder. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's, see, that's good. Murder Not- down. <laughs> what's the other one what is it uh, no uh, Sidoni likes it when I say murder in Twitter 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 <laughs> I've noticed oh, there's like certain names that I started rolling my R's for because I've heard more Scottish people say it than I have ah oh, yeah I know. And I'm just oh, like, no. is that what I'm going to pick up? Start rolling the R's at run. <laughs> um, shall we? Shall we play another? I've actually got another game as well. So should we play another game? Of the, yeah. We'll play the other game as well. Then we can mix between the two. Okay. So the other game, if you missed us for the drawing game, we'll go back to that one in a little bit. Uh, the other game is we have all selected a small pile of books that we are going to try and describe <coughs> for each other and also for anyone watching. So this is for you guys to take part in as well. Um, we are not allowed to use, I think, should we say people and place names? Is that kind of, and I would say, for example, like if you were, when I was trying to think of examples of this, like if, if it was Lord of the Rings, for example, the the ring element would not, would be a quite an obvious giveaway as well. So things like that have a big plot point in them. Oh God, okay. Um, so like wanna... describing the vibes of the book rather than the actual like yeah or like you can go for try and describe the title if you would rather um i felt like it would be interesting if we tried to do it in one word at a time otherwise i feel like we're just going to give it away super quickly we'll okay. see if that's doable <laughs> um i've got you guys to select a couple of books with the intent being that like if someone else has picked your book you can just switch to one of your other books um does anyone want to go first bagsy's last <laughs> I you feel like if we're guessing and people in the comments can guess we need to like go on the private chat so that we can't right. see the comments yeah yeah because <laughs> they'll right. come in before we do <laughs> all right everyone switch okay. to the private chat okay yep yeah okay <laughs> shall i go first then as um yeah, no, yeah. as an do. example as an example okay <laughs> Are we just shouting? Obviously, we yeah, go for it. Just shout. Yeah. Should we come out with our own beepers? Like, I don't know, like, I can be ho and Ashley can be hey. And I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Becky can be, hold on. Like, <laughs> yow. What am I doing that? <laughs> yow. You can just, you can just um, shout, to be honest. Um, obviously, yeah. there will be no spoilers in what we're saying either. So if you've not read these books, like, that's fine. Okay. Um, are you ready? Yep. Okay. I'm going to try it with one word only. Okay. <clears throat> ghosts. City of Ghosts by V. Schwab. Yeah. Also, I just realised that I said the name that was in the title. I was going <laughs> to guess that, but then I was like, no, that's the title. <laughs> yeah, I broke my own game because I thought I had Tunnel of Bones in front of me, but I had Ghosts. Um, <laughs> wow. I, I don't think, think I meant city of, yeah it is, it is actually city of bones isn't it yeah that okay right so we'll start with vicky and we'll do it properly this time because that was a test wait no it is city of ghosts yeah it's city of ghosts but i meant okay. i, meant, okay. I thought i, I, thought I had said the wrong name then okay no okay so That's not what i just did <laughs> a practice for what an example of what not to do that was yeah. <laughs> okay so me or is it Vicky? Vicky, because she guessed. Oh, oh, was it me? Oh, sorry. I was yeah. just staring at you. I thought you were in another go. <laughs> no, you go, Vicky. You go. <sighs> okay. Um, <clears throat> Murder. Stop and the rapper. No. <laughs> I feel like... I'm trying to jack, though. <laughs> no. One of us is lying. 
Yeah. Is one of the lawyers? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was just like any Kenny Manis Calco book. <laughs> All right. Well done, then. Okay. Um, sci fi. Iron Widow. The Becky Chambers one. I can't remember the name. Long no. <laughs> We each get um, one guess at each word, by the way. Otherwise, I feel like we're never going to get the next words, are we? Okay, sure. I want to guess that J. Christoph book, but I can't remember what it's called. Illuminae. Yeah. Oh, Isolation. Say... That's your next word. Scott, oh, I don't know. I've not read it, but Skywood? Oh, what's what's it called? Oh. What's it called? The The one with the film. <laughs> the one with the f- what space interstellar? No, no. What's it called? Star Wars. Martian. No. Wait, what did you guess, Ashley? Uh, Martian. Martian. <laughs> oh, Martian. Oh, oh it, this Hail, is Project Hail Mary. Guess first. Oh, thank you, Ashley, for your help. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that would be harder to guess than the Martian. <laughs> oh, people did guess. I've just gone back to the chat. People have guessed the, the Martian. So we've got a couple of. Oh yeah, no, I was keeping an eye on it. No one guessed Project Hail Mary though. Okay. All right. Why didn't I thought you say ear or something like that? I couldn't remember the name for the same one. <laughs> um, I've already gone, so Ashley, you wanna go? Okay. Celestial. Atlas Six. Daughter of the Moon Goddess. That's what I was about to say. Star Daughter? Yeah. <laughs> Normally, so bad at these games. <laughs> it literally is. <laughs> I thought it'd be harder by making people say uh, one word. I thought that this would be like throwing people off because my next one was going to be relative, and I thought everyone would go for Dora's room. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? For some reason, I thought you would pick Dora the Moon Goddess. I don't know why. <laughs> Damn. Okay, Lauren. Um. Okay. Science. The love hop of the Fuck you. <laughs> we all get it at the same time. <laughs> it went over my head because I just don't know what that It's really weird really <laughs> because I was just thinking, like, if we come around again, that was on my list. And I was like, oh, what do I use it? <laughs> it's on my list as well. I was like, oh, I just use science. And then as soon as you said it, I was like, surely not. <laughs> Damn. Nikki, mine is the exact same reasoning I had it on my list and my word was going to be science <laughs> I love that <laughs> I thought it would be hard saying one word but we seem to be um, getting them quite quickly yeah. <laughs> apart from me yeah. I've literally not got any right yet I was say, I've not got yet. <laughs> I'll, I'll go again I'll try and start with Do a more, right this more difficult <laughs> well kind of um, college name test Fangirl? If what? We're villains. For God's sake. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> I can't <won't. laughs> Right, I actually thought this game might be difficult. <laughs> that was, I think we should play more drawing games. games. <laughs> yeah, the drawing game's going to make a comeback in a minute. All right. <laughs> Fine, Ashley, you go. <laughs> oh, God. Um. Okay. I'm going to try and be more obscure, but I don't know... Yeah, I attempt. I just gave you college, and you got it. All- <laughs> yeah, but my thought process there was dark academia. What dark academia? Do I know. Well, I didn't want to say dark academia or Shakespeare. <laughs> it's just, it was enough. Okay. Witches. A discovery of witches. That would be in the title. No. The X hex. Nope. Witches steeped in gold. Oh no, that's in the title. Thorin's brewing. She's got something great coming. <laughs> Yeah. Really? <laughs> I said, I just, oh my god, yay! Yeah. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> I just wish I was like, oh, that's good, she's in it. <laughs> you read this. <laughs> are, are, we, are we highlighting a flaw in, in write, book writing? Is there only five books that associate with each one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, literally dear. just like. I just like pondering at my big shelf. I was like, witchies, 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 ass, serpent dove. Wow. All right, Lauren, you'll go. Oh, 
God. Um, um, candy. Candy? Once Upon a Broken Heart? No. Midnight in Everwood? Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is less a game of. It's literally just proven Lily being so damn telepathic. I feel like it's just all of us know what sort of books we've all seen. God yeah. damn it. Well, I was like, there's only one book where candy is a huge element, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, ironically, I was going to choose dance thinking that would throw you off, but then I was like, no, I literally said earlier today that um, it was like a favourite book. Yeah. We should have done like the synonyms or opposite game where it's like you take the title and swap it. Oh, damn it. That's so <laughs> much better. <laughs> I only yeah. thought like, so was, that's how I was going to like try and get a title in this game, but apparently we don't need it. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that's better. If anyone wants to do that, Brandon go ahead. Sanderson... <laughs> Guys, hmm? did you see that Brandon Sanderson can now surpass 15.4 million? Wow. Yeah, I saw on, that. He's on like 16 or almost 17. I think he might have been on 17 million when I looked earlier. Um, but because I, th- I thought when it was at 11 million, but I didn't know it surpassed 15 million. Um, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's a lot. Um, Lily, have you done your second one yet? No, okay, I'll go now. Um, Japanese. Panchiku. Is that Japanese? I have no idea. <laughs> Wicked uh, before the coffee gets cold. No, I don't know a second word to be quite honest. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's all it's sort of got. Um, autistic. A convenience store woman. Yes. Yes. Oh, is there I, any other word I can come up with? Is that the one that I have? I... It's got the little sword. Yes, I have it, and I was trying to. I know I could see the cover, but I was like, "What is it called?" Like, I'm sure you've got that, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to look. <laughs> oh, I saw the yellow one of that at the weekend for the first time. Which color have you got? Pink. Yeah, well, I I've got, got blue, pink. and then you got oh, me pink yeah. for my birthday, and yeah. then uh, I'd never seen yellow in person. But when me and Ashley and Amy went to the bookstore, I saw the yellow one. I don't even know what color I've yeah. got. I think I got pink. All right, Vicky, you want to go? Yeah. Uh, dagger. Why are all from Blood and Ash? Oh, yeah. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> <laughs> I thought. I thought if I go oh. for something like Dagger, then maybe like there are a lot of books that have that. All right. So when I was like, "Oh, this would be really great fun," <laughs> it just you know. Can we like excuse Lily from the game? <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe you just have to charade the. <laughs> Oh my god! Right, great. Okay, so we've we've monumentally failed in in by succeeding at that game. <laughs> <laughs> we've not even given anyone in the comments a chance. <laughs> Sorry, we're supposed great. to be fun for you guys, but. <laughs> oh <dear>. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> I've got one more um, if we want to try and see how if Lily can get it. Go on, I've got quite a few now. written down, so if you want me to sit out, I could just. <laughs> <laughs> Be really obscure. Yeah. Mean. 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 Kingdom of the Wicked? No. I was about to say that. That would be too pretty. I basically vetoed like any Stephanie Garber and Kerry Maniscalco because I knew you were going to be here as well. (laughs) (laughs) What about Vicious? (laughs) There. (laughs) Yeah. Oh wow! Okay, all right. I got. Oh. I got one. Okay. Um, I wasn't thinking of the title. That was a good one. <laughs> it's the cinnamon thing. <laughs> like, that's what I went for. <laughs> it's what I'm trying for now. I've played that game so many times. <laughs> I'm gonna try and be vague. Folklore. Okay. Taylor Swift. Yes, it's Taylor <laughs> Swift's <the> book. Uh, <laughs> right. My challenge to get you to three words here. <laughs> uh, the Spiderwick Chronicles. Nope. Um, Where is next word? All of the retellings yeah, are gone. Soul. <laughs> Who? Addie Soul. LaRue. 
Oh. Nope. As in, like, your soul. Yeah. Folklore and soul. Yeah. <laughs> I could have used so many easier words, but... Um... Is it a popular, a popular book? I would say you will definitely have heard of this book, yes. Okay. Have I read it? Uh, hang on, not Mexican Gothic. You've not read it, but you do own it. I, I own it. Mm -hmm. One came to mind, but it's in the title. So I'm just like, is it? No, I've managed to not do that this time. But what are okay. you thinking of? King of Souls. Oh, no. Do you want another word? Yeah. This will significantly help. Korean? Oh, oh look uh, at Wookie Fox. Fox. Yes. <laughs> I got you to three words. <laughs> oh, I haven't read that. <laughs> You just need to pick books I haven't read. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Lily, you we, want to do another do, one? If you, um, <laughs> you were saying, actually, that like, you've had a lot of practice. I quite enjoyed doing the cinema and game in the Fairy Loot Christmas quiz. <laughs> I like you. I think there was like, what, 20 of them? <laughs> Synonyms and is it antonyms when it's the opposite? That are really yeah. fun as well. Because I, I was thinking. <laughs> whole time, like, what the fuck's a cinnamon game? <laughs> No, it's fun though because it's like if you wanted to do winter night and you were doing opposite, it's like summer day. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for the next quiz. Oh man, we should have done that. <laughs> Lily, well, yeah, there's always another one. Ready? Ready. Yeah, I can do another one. Um, investigations. Good girl's guide to murder. Any of the Kerry Maniscalco books, I can't be bothered seeing them all again. A Karen McManus book? <laughs> nope. All right, give us another word then. Yeah. I'm trying to make it difficult. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so much. Um, wizard. Amari and the Night Brothers? Night yes. Brothers? Oh. That's two I was in a row. Well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, we've, we've successfully failed at, at trying to make this difficult, but I feel like we've done a good job <laughs> um, all around. Uh, we've still got the drawing game. If there's any games you guys watching would like us to, to play. I, I was going to do some kind of charade thing, but I didn't really fancy flinging my body around on camera. So um, I'm going <laughs> to that out. <laughs> um, but yeah, if anyone, if there's anything specific you guys would like to see us play, we will go back to the drawing game in a little bit because I feel like we have more success. You have more to give. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, more we've also lost, lost more. Huh? Sorry. More humiliation yeah. to provide. More humiliation to provide, well, yeah. Mostly just for me, who actually cannot draw nor draw on centre. I, I don't think. Yet. Yeah, I don't think that drawing comes into skill when you're blind. <laughs> <laughs> I think the best artists would have struggled. Uh, actually, maybe someone right like. No, someone that does like Pollock paint splashes or something, maybe that would have been okay blindfolded. <laughs> Van Gogh, he'd have he'd have not had a good time with it. No. <laughs> okay, well we'll do. Um, I've got three more books for the the drawing, but you guys feel free to pick some out as well if you if you want. Um, try Ooh. the book chart. Is in the synonyms so. one or? It's because they're two different ones. So you've got synonyms where it's like the words mean the same thing, or you've got the opposite one where they mean the opposite. Yeah. Oh, I've got one. Go on. Alive. Dead. De dead. <laughs> Wait, sorry, are we is this an opposites or is this yeah. the game we already played? <laughs> yeah, I, I was just putting away these contemporary books. Hint hint. Wait, hang on. But are we oh, is this the, the are you oppositing it or is it <laughs> yeah. you are okay. I don't know any books that are just like murdered, killed. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm struggling with. No. And it's a contemporary because it's a death yeah, a, good, a good girl's guide to murder, then. No. Sorry, is it no. just one word? One word. Oh. Alive. Dead. No longer living. That is three words. <laughs> Lack of existing. That is three words. <laughs> but uh, it's contemporary. On. I'm trying to think of a way to like explain this without using 
for the actual word. Oh, sorry, I just saw someone's comments. So I'll not say what yeah, it is. I just oh, sorry, but... oh, I wait, I saw it too. <laughs> yeah, it's hard so far. <laughs> oh, that's I just, good. I was that's like, and I was like, oh, it's so hard. If you said graphic novel, I would have got it then, I think. Because you said contemporary. I just like, I just. To me, I'm just like, oh, I just didn't even think of it being contemporary. I just thought graphic novel. We didn't deserve or want. <laughs> well done, Patricia, for getting that. <laughs> oh, the opposites ones. Yeah, it's always stuff like, well. What about the German hate deception? You use the word deception. Yeah. The Spanish The, German, the, the German hate promise or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Why don't we do another reading sprint and in that time we can go and collect books for another game? <laughs> yeah, that's a good shout. Getting us back on track, Ashley. I like it. <laughs> I've lost all sense of any tab that tells me what time it is. Okay, 8.20. Cool. <laughs> um, hang on, I'll get a little bannery thing going. How long do we want to go for? Um, the, like on, With my patrons, I usually do like 40-minute-ish ones. I don't know if that's too long or... That's yeah. fine with me. Is that okay? Go grab a drink first. Cool. Anyway. I am thirsty. Right, up until the hour. What you got there? Laura? <laughs> Just cracking out the mince. The um. Mince. <laughs> I a hundred percent blame G. Since G gifted me these for Christmas, I have consumed four boxes by myself. <laughs> I don't know if you were like, have you tried the new Maltese truffles to me? I'm like, they're not new. <laughs> <laughs> they're new to me <laughs> I'm going to go have some popcorn which will be new to me for about five seconds whilst I eat it <laughs> I was literally about to say that is... yeah well okay alright we'll be back with apparently more game fun are we going to, are we, are we going to try and pick books that we can do the opposite titles of then I'm going to go find books <laughs> Okay. I've got All the right. audio book so I can can we, can we beat all the bone season <laughs> yeah <laughs> Would that even be the flaccid? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm freaking you get away. Why do you think that that is the opposite of bone? <laughs> I'm a boner, to be honest. Oh, you, I, you, I can't do a live without making it somehow rude. <laughs> I'm going to go make myself some food and find Happy some
Okay, that's the second sprint's up. Hello. 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 How uh, did everyone get on? How is everyone's books? I am nearing the halfway point of Gallant. Nearly. Hello. I think it makes it's one of those books where it's actually shorter than it is because half yeah. of the pages are like letters or yeah. part three takes up like four pages. Ooh. I get the six hundred page mark. <laughs> Two hundred you... like one page to go. <laughs> Have you managed to remain spoiler free with it, Ashley and Lily? I suppose if you guys seen anything. Yeah, I think it helps for me that I'm I don't really go on Twitter anymore. And that's where I would I used to see most of the spoilers. So I know absolutely nothing. I've seen all I've seen is people saying that they love it. Not I've very much. not yeah. seen any spoilers now, having finished it, like and not having to avoid them. I've still not seen any. I yeah, see I'm like forty percent in now, um, and without giving spoilers, um, I had the gym scene for those that have read it. Ah, yes, that made me laugh more than it should have. Yeah, that made me laugh a lot. I just, yeah. I can't take her sex scene seriously anymore. <laughs> I can't take her sex scene seriously either. I think the I said on my page. Go on. Sorry, like the thing is, I think they would be good if there were just wasn't so much glowing and like shining of things and, and purring and yeah, purring yeah. and barking and, and lapping and pumping. And, like, <laughs> yeah, because there is. Like, there is evidence, I guess you could say, that she is good at writing it without that stuff. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't need it. It's not needed. I can understand, like, how good something is without someone shining, you know? <laughs> it's like she feels the need to remind you it's a fantasy during the sex scenes. Like, it's yeah. okay, we, we know. We know they're not human. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just move on from that point. <laughs> Like, yeah. Sarah, we know. People have the ears, people have like wings, people are wolves, like, you know. It's, yeah, I, I just, I'm not taking it seriously when I read her sex scenes now. I think, like, if she didn't have children, I would just kind of be worried that it was just written. It, it was, it would be more like in a fantasy setting than it would an actual realistic thing. But the fact that she's got kids, you know, kind of indicates she probably does know what she's talking about. Um, <laughs> She just talks about the wrong kind of details. Like, I don't need to hear about how sweaty her clothes are during the sex scene. Like, why was that such a focus? Wait, you didn't I... find that important? <laughs> <laughs> that was the best thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's the word lapping that did it for me. I think it, I think it might have been in that scene or, or the one. It was either that one or the one previous where the word lapping was used or something. And I was just like, why is I... anyone wanting to be lapped? I lost it when he used his lightning powers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's there's some real crackers to come you you've got one of the... i got to like yeah. the first sex scene today and i messaged beth and was like what is this it's just like it gets better <laughs> <laughs> in like an entertainment factor not in a writing factor <laughs> great book like they're really good fun i put on twitter um about the sex scenes because I said about um, the silly language used and stuff and um, somebody said to me why do you feel you need to go out of your way to trash this author's writing I'm like I, I've not trashed it I've just said that I'm finding it quite entertaining but in a different way than I should <laughs> also I thought um, it's Sarah J Mars like it's not gonna hurt her career if one person says the sex scenes are a bit I still weird. gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars I just um <laughs> at this point if you see one bad thing about her people come for you like when I a review day was a queen of shadows and I hated that book. I did not like it. I still don't like it to this day. And when I reviewed that, people came for me and I was like, okay, you think that, I'll think that. Leave me alone. There's but. certain books I'm terrified to read for that reason. Like, for example, a really big one at the moment. I'm not big on sci-fi, especially not like spacey, robot-y sci-fi. So Iron Widow has nothing in it plot-wise that would interest me. And I'm, I've got a copy of it because it came in a book subscription. But, like, it looks cool, but it's not the kind of thing I would think, oh, yeah, I really want to pick that up. And that's just my personal taste. But I'm terrified to ever actually pick it up. Because if I don't like it because of my personal reading taste, that has got so much love for it that I'd just be sat here like, I do not wish to discuss my star rating. <laughs> I don't know. My gosh, don't watch hate. Just forgive me. Uh, Crescent City won three stars. 
<laughs> people were like, how are you not rating it five stars? It's like, I still thought it was okay. Like, I'm not trying yeah. it. But yeah. It's just because, like, like, I joined book Twitter literally from the age of, like, 14 or something. Like, I don't know what it is, but, like, other people yeah. being angry at my ratings, I'm just like, that sounds like a you problem. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely <laughs> is a you problem. I always remember the guy that when I was working out, I think I've said it before on live, but when I was first working out how I wanted to charge, and I, I've changed it since I since then, but I was charging for reviews, which I've completely I stopped doing after about a week of doing it. And the guy that partly because like I gave his book three point five stars, it probably would have been more of a it like now thinking about it, it was a three. And he messaged me asking me if I could up it to four on Goodreads because I put it as a three on Goodreads because obviously you can't put the point five. And he was like, oh, well, you know, as I'm paying you, I'm like, as you're paying me, I will give my honest opinion. Yeah. <laughs> that was about four years ago and I've never done it since. <laughs> oh, yay. Now, I remember, um, <laughs> was it like around... It was around Halloween last year because I was trying a whole bunch of different stuff and I had like a lesson in vengeance with it, which everyone was raving about and you know the maidens and I was like hate that, hate that, <laughs> don't like this, this one's awful. <laughs> and I, I just... love it when a book divides people, I think it's much more interesting <laughs> than a book that everyone loves. Yeah. Like, I love the idea that I quite enjoyed the maidens and then I saw a lot of people hate it and was like oh interesting why do you hate it and I was like yeah. oh cool okay. Like there's, I think there's some things that would be instant. Like I hate this for this reason that other people wouldn't be quite so bothered by. Mm. Yeah. Arrogant male characters, for example, I hate. <laughs> See, I don't understand why people read Dark Academia if they don't like that. I'm oh, like, it's like it in terms of like, if I met someone, I'd want to punch them. But reading about it, love it. I mean, <laughs> like the level of arrogance that you have. For example, the guy I forgot what his name is in the Hating Game that like I don't mind dark academia arrogance where they're like maybe okay hang on more like vanity arrogance is what I hate when they're like oh my god look at me I am so muscly I am so attractive I just cue at my feet everybody like that. <laughs> I'll be first in line <laughs> dark academia arrogance I like yeah yay 20 pages woo yeah I realize that so I did a bit of revision yeah. And then I thought for the last 10 minutes of it will book day, I would read some of Soul Lanterns. And I actually read 13 pages. Like, the text is not, like, tiny. That's still good for 10 but minutes. I still managed to read 13 pages in 10 minutes, so I'm pretty happy with that. It takes Honestly. me about an hour to read 13 pages, so take that. It does. It's yeah, then I think I think this is aimed at like younger audiences. It doesn't matter. It would still take me an hour. It does say Random House <laughs> Kids on the back, and like I said, the text is quite big. You can claim it. Yeah, I'll take it. Um. Also, I mean, Amy, is this, is this Mina book too? Because I'm very excited yeah. for this. <laughs> I'm not even halfway yeah. through a manga. Like. <laughs> We've been reading for like what over an hour now. I swear, every time I look up, though, you're not reading. You're doing something else. <laughs> That's why it takes yeah. you so long. <laughs> it's the the camera point. just like went out, and I was like, "Am I still here?" <laughs> so I'm like, I'm not even halfway through a manga. We've been reading for over an hour now, so that's how slow I read. <laughs> I think I it's just in my comments the other day asking me because um, I read like. I had 23 books in January and someone commented and I literally yeah. just said in the video it's because I have no life and I just spent all my free time reading and he commented being like so what technique do you use to read so many books a month I want to read more so I look more educated and I was like I bro I, I just read <laughs> like, I just don't have a life <laughs> like I just literally I finished work and just read a book from start to finish and he was like oh but surely you must use like scanning or skimming and I was like no I <laughs> just read and he just didn't believe me i ended up having to delete some of his comments because they were just a bit questionable <laughs> i love I it you're like, i just i just read that's all it is i just read <laughs> that's I my was like, it, he was like asking for tips i was like just read more <laughs> yeah i think it's fine don't have other hobbies track. Yeah, <laughs> if, I, if I'm on my like, if I pick up my phone i'm gone i don't know why i saw a video once of a man that was showing you how to read more 
And he basically had leveled himself up to a point where he would put a ruler in front of a line and he would just drag the ruler down the whole page like that fast. And he would have read that whole page by just dragging it down in like 10 seconds. And like it's it was actually taking it then, in everything yeah, that he was because reading. he would then I think it was like on the news it was like a record he would then explain what he'd read. Mm. It was like some incredibly intense ability, but wow. yeah. Um, I was so glad that. you're able to join. There is, a, there is a thing where it's like you can train your brain to do it because it's like do you know those when people make like anagrams out of words, but if you leave the first yeah. and last is the same, you you know what the word is just. Yeah. From Letters, so it's like you don't actually have to read the word in order, you just kind of have to take yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's like you can train your brain to do it, but ironically, you need time to do that. <laughs> also, exactly this, Ellie. Yeah, like that's why we're all book review. Uh, the comment that I got about Sarah Javas, I just replied saying I'm not being negative, but also like part of my job is being a book reviewer, so like I'm gonna give my honest opinion. Mm. I'm not tagging the author, I'm not even naming the author. <laughs> just my thing <laughs> I like this Izzy. I like this very much I just stick mine in the microwave like mine my boyfriend always says to me like always saying that I leave my cups of tea because I make them and then I like put them down somewhere and then they're just left for hours <laughs> I usually like make myself a cup of tea and then I'll come upstairs to work and then I'll forget it's there and then yeah. go down and heat it up again. But I usually need to transfer the cup because I use the Stay Well Min Chow cup and I can't put that uh, in the microwave. <laughs> so I usually just go down get... to the transfer cup, put it back. <laughs> I get those like mug, they're like uh, mug heating mats. I yes. One. I like, want to see if it actually works, but also I believe it's they really do. useful for me personally just because it takes me clearly forever. Yeah. I think they do that work. Makes a mug really hot to hold, though. It you heats it from the bottom. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't I, don't know. I think my my work colleague used to have one, and it does work. But I think it heats it from the bottom, so it's yeah, it's not like the handles getting direct. The tea, the tea is like bubbling. <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> the better good. option is uh, what is it that tired. that thing that Samantha Shannon has? It's the it looks metallic. A flask. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it looks like a flask, but it's not. You can get it on a uh, firebox, and it's literally like you put it in, and it can keep your tea warm for like six hours straight because it just constantly gives it little bursts. Ah, uh, a flask. No, <laughs> <laughs> like a chili bowl. Beth, would you like to explain bath filters? No. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's it's no, it's, it gives it like bursts of heat. You can charge it and stuff like that. Hmm. interesting it just makes me realize how often i walk like i just if i make a cup of tea i'm carrying it with me everywhere because i'm just like tiny source of heat yay i i am sat in shorts at the moment so what i've got my feet up so i'm gonna go my feet are on the radiator because my feet are really cold that's why my legs are like this I, I was still wondering hot. why you were sat sideways. Yeah, it's because my it's because my feet are on the radiator because I was quite cold. So, yeah. you know, I I don't know how, but like last last winter, I was blowing cold air out of my mouth. Like it was white air of how cold I was. This year, I got another radiator in my hallway, and it's made such a difference. <laughs> I got too hot trying to sort the camera out under the desk like two hours ago, and I've not cooled down. <laughs> the LED probably provide you heat as well because the I'm LEDs sorry. behind my screen are just. Boston. Sorry, I'm also sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, the LEDs because I'm trying to look at getting some like whatever the little desk lights are, and like all the ones I'm looking at, I'm, d I'm only looking at ones that don't heat you up. <laughs> because when you are sat in front of a computer screen, it gets hot. <laughs> Double blanket. Oh, yeah. I am sitting on because this is like a leather chair, or maybe it's fake leather. I don't know what it is. Either. Yeah. But because obviously it's like it's cold, it is cold on my legs despite the fact that I have leggings on. So I'm, I'm sitting on the Illumicrate from Blood and Ash blanket at the moment. But I do also, it's not big enough to wrap it around me and sit on it. Ah, uh, you want one of the hooded blankets? <laughs> I, actually, I actually do really want one. I think I asked for one for Christmas and obviously I 
did not receive very sadly <laughs> the blanket or the, the like because i mean like the hooded blanket rather than the hoodie though oh uh, uh, i like, don't need the hoodie is well no hoodies are hooded blankets yeah no, but there's like imposia is like literally a hood with like it's like a cape type of thing that they you don't have sleeves <laughs> basically yeah, oh like, okay yeah. Is it a bit like one of those? Is it a bit like one of those towels that like kids have, where it's yeah, like, it's almost like a poncho, but yeah, to be fair, yeah, blanket. yeah. But you feel like you're in Lord of the Rings whilst wearing it, so um. My problem with that. that is that I like swishing around too much, but I have far too many. Yeah, I've got ten plants over. I'm just like crystals everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! No, that is my worst nightmare. No. <laughs> They're too high up now, but anything that would be like on my coffee tables, they'd be a goner. Did you find a place for your little mushies? They did. They're in plant pots. Yay! Little, what are the little mushies? We, we got Ashley little um, mushroom crystals for her birthday from the what team. Mushroom? As in like actual crystal shaped like mushrooms or yeah. like natural? They're tiny. They're like that size, but they're so cute. <laughs> Let me find one. Okay. <laughs> We took a lot of time trying to pick out what one she was going to get. Well, what ones? Oh, wait, so yeah. they're in plant pots. This is cute. Yeah. I don't know which one's going to be easiest to show. Not that one. Aww. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> Aww. They are really cute. They're There's really a cute. Pink Aww. one and a green one that's in another plant pot somewhere. <laughs> I think we went for rose quartz, amethyst, and a uh, fluorite. Yeah. The teeny tiny mushrooms. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, I like those. Tina takes note for Beth's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you've got a lot of plants, you've, uh, <laughs> you've got to have decoration for the plants. <laughs> them for Scotland flags as well. You, there are still right for anyone that was following this when Lauren came to stay with me. She hid. I think you hid thirteen flags. I gave Eva one. You gave Ava one and Jacob broke one. So I think there are 13 flags hidden in my flat somewhere. And I found 11 of them. Oh. <laughs> and Lauren swears they were all like obvious enough that they should have been found. Within well, not day. obvious enough because Christine gave me the grand idea to put one in your cereal box and you found that immediately. So <laughs> I think, like, can you guys agree that maybe that wasn't a, the best hiding place? You had thing I use every morning. Video. Yeah, but none okay. of them were open. Only one of them was open. I should have opened one. It wasn't. It open. would be a good one if you were in my flat because I don't eat cereal. There we go. <laughs> so like, it'd be good for me because off. I go through phases where like I don't yeah. eat cereal for months. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to remember that for the next time that me and Amy are crashing. <laughs> Ashley, just be like, well, Ashley's in the like, Amy, go, go, go. <laughs> like one flag that I find in about six months' time, like. <laughs> <laughs> I was just find a Scottish flag in my cocoa pops. <laughs> One day I'll find the other two. I mean, it's taken me and my sister looking. I genuinely I don't know where the other two are. I genuinely thought I miscounted, but if Jacob broke one and Ava has one, then there's 13. Uh, and I didn't bring any home with me. I binned the box before I packed my case and left. I don't know where the other two are. Like, I have, I wait, how? Let me go and get the ones I've got so I can check how many I've got spare. Hang on. <laughs> are you sure there were like, what, 15? Is it meant to be? It was a pack of 15. It was cheaper for a pack of 15 than it was for a pack of two. <laughs> so. How's that work? <laughs> because, um, I don't know, wholesale or something like that, but it was uh, the, the ones that I got were also smaller and the two that I wanted to get were actually a little bit bigger. Mm. Yeah. Don't ask me why I've kept them all. What's the name are you? Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there should oh. still be three. Oh, she <laughs> did miscalculate and now there's an extra one. Where the hell are the three flags? I don't know. I wish I knew. Nothing is out of place here. I'm actually annoyed at myself now for not taking a note because I genuinely cannot remember where they are. Lily, the next time you come around, you're helping me look for them. Okay. <laughs> I didn't see any when I was there. Though. Good, because if you saw them, that would have really been a problem if I'd been literally living with them since October and not seen them. 
I was gonna say, I really hope that one day, like, your mum or dad's in your flat and just be like, why have you got a Scottish flag there? <laughs> it's just like, sat there. <laughs> <laughs> did I put one in your bathroom? Did you find the one in your bathroom? I'm pretty sure I found the one in my bath. I I would have found any of them that are obvious like that. Where no, where in my bathroom? No, I can't remember where I put it in your bathroom. <laughs> what about like <laughs> like see when you're sitting between your TV and your coffee table? And how yeah. you put those two slots that have DVDs in them? Did you find yeah, that? One? Yeah, look there. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> Is there right. any on your balcony? <laughs> nope. Not after oh, that. No, I didn't go out in that balcony. That was infested with ladybugs when I was there. They were coming to kill me. <laughs> yeah, what about that? Are. Do you have a blanket basket? Yeah, there was one in there. That was yeah. that one's already taken care I'm of. I'm just trying yeah. to think because I know I remember Lauren telling us that she was doing that. <laughs> I was like, guys, give me ideas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, I can't, I can't remember what you said. A list. <laughs> Of where you put them all. Um, do we want to do this this book thing? Did you guys pick out some books? I I actually did. I also did, and I've even written down yeah. what I want the opposites to be. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can't think of them on the spot. That's too yeah. much. I've written down so you may have to bear with me while I remember them. <laughs> okay. I didn't pick mine out because I couldn't be bothered getting up, even though I went downstairs to get popcorn. But I've written them down, and honestly, I don't know if I've done this right, but some of the uh, ones that I've chosen are funny okay I, i'm excited for this also nope not in the car and i can definitely confirm that because i got a new car and had to empty the old one so uh <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can't say that. definitely took the broken one out of the car because yeah. that's when the jacob broke and i yeah. took major offense to that oh yeah treat yourself for your birthday month do treat it yourself. um right who wants to go first shall i go first again yeah really okay <clears throat> Let me turn off the comments. <laughs> one of them I'm really pleased with, but I don't know if it's stupid. <laughs> this is not that one. Um, the sheep and the water woman. The bear and the, the wolf again? and the woodsman. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the wolf and the woodsman. Yeah, I thought that was quite good because I could shoot. Like. Yeah. All right. Fine. All right. Do you want my other two? Whilst, whilst the I'm thing is, just... as well, with some of them, you can guess what it is from like the rhythm of the title. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. All right. Yeah. I've tried to avoid that with yeah. a couple of mine. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll keep. I'll keep getting. Yeah, maybe they're really obvious then. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Detailed good villains. Bad. <laughs> is that? I feel like that's a cat done. Oh. Back. Playing bad heroines. Yes. Ah. Oh, that was <laughs> good. That, one. that was that was good. Uh, <laughs> and finally, Madagascar lowering. Something, Something rising. rising. Oh, Malibu, rising. Malibu rising. Malibu rising. Yeah, but do you know why it's Malibu rising? No. <laughs> because. Um, there's this thing called antipodes, which is basically like if the Earth's on its axis and you put like a right through the country uh, and you get somewhere underneath it. And yeah. Madagascar is the closest country to where in the ocean you pop out if you were to do the through Malibu. <laughs> um, so that was that was my flex. Okay, <laughs> Ten minutes googling that. <laughs> no regrets. Sometimes. Sometimes there are just words though where it's like, what's the opposite of this? Yeah. <laughs> yes, please, everybody guess. Yeah, you two got playing bad heroines. Yes, definitely, please guess. Also, excellent on buying five books. Um, all right, who wants to go next? We'll just go in order. Yeah, go on then. Okay. Um, <laughs> suggestion of puppies. <laughs> <laughs> suggestion of puppies. <laughs> yeah. Suggestion of puppies. Suggestion of puppies. A rule of wolves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's just cute. That was really good. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> mine are going to be so terrible in comparison. Um. Okay. Happy death. Bad. No. Un. Sad. Sad life. Sad. Is it a little lie? Hmm? Is it a little lie? No. That is a sad life. What is it? Happy death. 
happy death. Don't necessarily think sad. Unhappy life. <laughs> happy. Miserable. I'm just thinking invisible life of Addie LaRue. But <laughs> <laughs> Too long. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said 10 out of 10 would suit in would be the suggestion of puppies, me too. <laughs> um, I'm happy there. Is the word life for the death part? No. No. Oh. I'll death. give you, you want a hint? Yeah. Mm, yeah. It was in a fairy loot box at one point. Oh, Recently? No. Nope. Oh. A couple of years ago. What did oh, you say it was called again? Happy, happy death. Someone said mad life. It's not mad life. Is it lives? Is that the word? The, the other word? No. Living? No. Alive? No. God damn you. <laughs> Deep Violent Delight. <laughs> you are all thinking very hard. I'm very proud. Deep Violent Delight. No. Okay. I'm trying to think of fairy loot books now. Is what the word birth? <laughs> birth. What? Birth. That's close. Yes. Happy born. Unhappy born. Born. Unhappy born. Born to live, die. Sky born. Is that what it is? A star born? is born. Born Happy. again. Happy. Born this way. Born. Miss Born? No. I don't think I know any titles with the word. Fury Born. Born. Fury Born. Oh, Fury Born. Yeah. Fury Born. Oh, I have that one up there. That's yeah. fun. Oh, the okay. tough one. That was. Yeah, what, let's look at the, this is where I get pedantic because I'm like, the opposite of Fury is like calm. <laughs> <laughs> I would agree. Please. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, one more, I guess. Um, oh, Abby and Lizzie got it. Twice. Um, okay. I wrote down a couple. Uh, Shivering mortal. Stable. Basically, shivering mortal. Me right now. <laughs> 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 Like I know all things with gods in. <laughs> Immortal vein? Immortal nope. rain is not that's not the book. <laughs> um it's not warm bodies. Hot and <laughs> sweaty <good. laughs> No, it's not that either. Just, just an erotica. <laughs> an erotica with all of Sarah J. Mass's characters and yeah. hot immortals. <laughs> Um, shivering mortal. <laughs> I just what's the opposite of shivering. <laughs> is, is the opposite of shivering like warm, or is it still? Yeah, well, obviously, yeah, it's warm because if you're shivering, you're cold. Warm. Oh. Yeah. Warm. So if someone was not shivering, the opposite would be warm, immortal. <laughs> I'm quite proud of myself. I should do this one often. Yeah, I should do this one. I should have a career doing just this. I'm going to open a YouTube channel. Um, oh, cat! That <laughs> <laughs> looked like it was a filter. <laughs> they heard about the suggestion of puppies and came running. I don't know if Lily, Ashley, or Vicky has read it, but you've definitely read it. Yeah. Me? Mm -hmm. Hot. Hot. <laughs> Warm. Fire. Um, is the immortal part God? Yes. Okay. What is in the word? The word is God's. Mm -hmm. God's with an S? Like warm God? No, God's with a Z for Sass. No, is in like God's or God? <laughs> yeah. God or God's? God or God's? Why don't I know it? Something gods. Does it have an S on it? Oh, it doesn't have an S. It doesn't have an S. Right, it's a singular, a singular Wait, god. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One god. Why don't I know this? No, it doesn't have an S. It doesn't have an no, S. No, no S. Something Hot god. god. Hot 
hot god, sizzling god, <laughs> fiery god. <laughs> but burning, burning god, the burning god. Thank oh. You. Uh, <laughs> I must say, the chat got it first. <laughs> I'm not surprised that took us a while. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that took us a while. Oh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, we had a lot of... Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. Lauren, have you got more? Because you're quite good at this. Okay. Um, <laughs> dispersing light. Hold on a minute while I just actually try to remember what that one was. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Gathering darkness? Is that a thing? That's it. That's, that's, <laughs> uh, I don't even know what book that is. I just recognise the title. <laughs> I was like, wait, what, what one is that? Was that the name of Shadow and Bone before it became Shadow and Bone? Wasn't that called like the Gathering Dark or something? Yeah, like what is Gathering Dark Darkness is one of the Fallen Kingdom books. Uh, I'm sure um, it was called, like, just like, like I know this Dark. title. I don't know where from, but I know it. <laughs> <laughs> and then Peasant of Water. Again, I need to remember what actual one this is. Queen of Fire. Oh, wait. Uh, <laughs> Queen of Fire? That's not a book. Queen of Shadows? Shit. No. I remember what Air one it is. Fire. Air, yeah, Air of Fire. Air of Fire. Damn it. <laughs> so close. The, the effort was there. All right, Vicky, have you got any? Yes, I only have three because that was as much as my brain could manage. <laughs> I'll be honest. Happy with my little um, So first of all, we have Nice Start. Nice Bad ends. Start. Nice starts. Nice starts. Our violent end? Oh. Yeah, our violent ends, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's the one thing I know with an end in it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then the next one is Big Givers. Hmm. <laughs> Big givers, eh? Yeah. Uh, Was the House of Sky and Breath by the chance? <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't be that. I've not even read it. L- uh, little Thieves? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Not me saying Little Takers in my head. <laughs> I was thinking Little Takers, but I was like, that's not a book. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then my last one is uh, Forgettable. The only word I can think of is memorable. <laughs> yeah. yeah, same. It's not. Oh, yeah, it's not. It's not quite an opposite. But I wasn't. I couldn't really think of what the opposite was. Oh, oh, the Invisible Life of Adeline. No. No. Um, is it just one word? The okay. so yeah. Y. Yeah. Oh. Is it Sarah J. Mass? No. What Sarah J. Mass book is one word? <laughs> <laughs> I am not in a good room to be able to look at my bookshelves right now. <laughs> I did think when you were looking at your bookshelves, I was thinking like that you haven't got a lot to look at that. You haven't got a lot yeah. to work with. Forgettable. Ooh. Has anyone in chat got it? No. I'm gonna look at it. been one suggestion so far, to be fair. And that's not it, I'm afraid. Oh, Boba's gone off. Um, Oh my god, that's really hard. (laughs) I feel like it's harder when it's just one word because there's so few times. Yes. Forgettable. Oh, damn it. Unforgettables. (laughs) Rememberables. (laughs) <laughs> I've got to try and think of a clue yeah can we have the genre yeah well I, it's yeah it's young adult it's well, yeah it's fantasy oh my god what what's everyone we, uh, yeah we, we want more clues you want is more clues hmm is it archived no 
it's it's on my bookshelf. <laughs> Right. <laughs> With the clue. I don't know if you can see them very clearly. Wait, wait, is it legendary? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 I know it's not like quite the opposite, but I was like, like it a legend, sense. like legend you remember. So. All right. Well, yeah. I don't know if it's the same yet. Yeah. has to be one of them. I know. I just think like you should be getting this one, Lauren. Sorry. Uh, that's, that's, there you go. You did. All right. Yeah. Ashley. Okay. I feel like mine might be pretty obvious now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try and go in order of what might be difficult, but who knows. Um, still sunset. Moving. <laughs> Moving sunrise. <laughs> <not to say. laughs> Am I really bad at this? I will say I purposely took a word out because I think the rhythm of it would have given it away. Um, Sneaky. What was, hang on, what did you say again? What was it? Still no, sunset. Still sunset. Still sunset. Am I allowed to ask if, if the still is referring to being stationary or a period of time still being? Uh, it's movement. Okay. Like a lake is still or sort of thing. Okay. But is it sliding? Is it walking? <laughs> You've got to figure it out. <laughs> Don't try and figure it out. <laughs> oh, God. Still sunset. So what is the opposite of sunset? Sun yeah. Some, well, sunrise. sunrise. Dusk. Dawn. Dawn. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, wait, so, huh? So, is it? Oh, wait, what? Mean? What is Spin it? Spin the dawn. Spin the dawn. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm proud of myself for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget I gave you a boost for that. <laughs> I could feel like everybody's creeping towards her. You were just like, sunset. It was <laughs> death. <laughs> was it was whoever <laughs> said dawn. Yeah. Like, I didn't want to the 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 as well because I was like, you can't make it opposite. Yeah. If yeah, I said yeah. still the sunset, it yeah. would probably clever. Away. <laughs> clever, clever. Okay. Clever. This is one which people either get really quickly or don't. So <laughs> we'll try it. Um, public contemporary. Private hidden, fantasy. Yeah, hidden hidden fantasy. <laughs> Private. I will thriller. say contemporary is referring to time frame, not genre. <laughs> private okay. history, private past. Secret history? Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. I was just like, what's the opposite of history? I need a word. <laughs> yeah. That was uh, good. The final one is just one word. Oh. Forgiveness. Betrayal. Vengeance. Venge yeah, vengeance. Venge vengeful, vengeful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, okay. Lily, what have you got? Oh, hang on, wait, let me go through comments of what people... Oh, yeah. Got A lot of people were guessing Breaking Dawn for the first yeah. one. Yeah, which is I really always... clever. That was what came into my head before you said Spin the Dawn. I was about to say Breaking Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone going to see Batman dressed in Twilight merch? Um, no, I, I don't have Twilight merch to dress yeah. in. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, you were too. I really had to translate that in my head then to be like, what, why? <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, it took me a minute. <laughs> I was too young. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not too young. <laughs> no. I was a teenager when Twilight came out. Vicky the same age as me. Yeah, I, I read Twilight when I was... 12 maybe i remember like yeah, there, was, there was one of the girls that i was friends with that was really into it at the time and i then think i read it wasn't it like 13 or 14 oh i don't know it was, I when know. I, it was like I read it. it was whatever year breaking dawn came out because i remember i picked like i my god i think i got my parents to pre-order it or something for my birthday and then i took it on holiday with me my breaking like, dawn i think i was maybe a bit too out. young to read about breaking bed 
<laughs> I had the joy of telling um, the booksellers in Waterstones over the weekend that the Atlas Six was most definitely an adult book because of a certain scene that is in it that you wouldn't want necessarily the younger end of young adults reading about because mm -hmm. they were like, I, they were talking about it they clearly had no idea what it was. And they're like, oh, what's this? Does anyone know? Or to all the books says, they're like, no, no, I don't know what it is. And I was just there. And I was like, I'm really sorry to interrupt, but I can tell you if you want. And they were like, <laughs> okay. And they went, oh, thanks. We'll pop it in young adult. I said, oh, no, it's adult. And they then said, no, you'd be surprised really by what is actually young adult. I was like, no, it's adult. <laughs> <laughs> see, I really I, Did you see when I went into Oxford a few weeks ago and I found... Um, in Blackwells, they're, they're shelving like the Love Hypothesis, Emily Henry books and Spanish Love Deception all in the young adult section. Oh, and when I asked them about it, they were like, oh, it's because young adults are expanding and it doesn't just mean for teens anymore. But funnily enough, all of the like adult fantasy was still in the adult section. It was just the adult romances yeah. that were in there. And I was like, yeah. guys, it's you know what 13 year olds like, reading these books? And Ethan yeah. that's vaguely popular on TikTok, they're like, oh, it's yeah. And I'm like, we're yeah. doing this yeah. again. <laughs> like, it depends on the kid as well I feel like because at 13 14 I think I would have I was reading stuff like that and that was I was fine with it but other kids would have not have, have wanted to read that kind of thing I think it completely yeah it's I always think it's whatever age the protagonist is yeah usually you know in certain books obviously not quite the same but yeah. like a lot yeah. of the time in the Spanish love deception they're like 30 yeah exactly why yeah. would you want to be I mean, that. I, I love this comment, by the way. That is, yeah. <laughs> I just looked up when Breaking Dawn came out, and that what says it was August 2008. So I had just turned, I think. 2008? I think I turned, yeah, I think I just turned 13. Yeah. Oh, oh no, that makes me feel old. <laughs> you are literally two years older than us. Yeah. No, yeah, but I think, that's I, yeah, I, think I, I think I just turned 13. But I, like, I do remember reading it, like, what, like Lauren, do you want to know how old I was <laughs> in yeah. 2008? Yeah. <laughs> I was 10. <laughs> I was going to start with her and be like, I was 10. <laughs> no, Lauren, what age are you now? Like 20? I'm 23. <laughs> Lauren, so was I. <laughs> you go through this like weekly at work. <laughs> I don't care. Like, Lauren's just constantly having an age crisis. Lauren's looking at any given five though at this point. I think. You know. <laughs> just it, it's like when Lauren Breaking Dawn came the age out, I was you're like, having. when I was at, when Breaking Dawn came out, I was finishing my fourth year at like high school, and I remember someone came up to me and she was like, "Have you heard of this girl called like Taylor Swift? She sent us <laughs> song." Um, that's like really it matches up with Twilight perfectly like if you're going to read Breaking Dawn I was like no nah, not really interested no um, <laughs> and you were 10 <laughs> hang on hang on we have a winner we have a winner Maria wow <laughs> yeah. anyway my, my point is at the age of 13 for me like literally just turned 13 reading about Edward breaking a bed I don't. I don't think I needed to read that at that point. Someone was seven. I don't even remember what I was they doing when I was definitely seven. shouldn't. Definitely, it's age. It's how it. it works. My oh, sister was born in two thousand and twelve. Do you know what really blew my mind though? But I was watching baby videos, right? Like Beth got me pure into like watching baby videos the other night because she was watching some of hers, and I was sitting there watching. It. I was like, the thing that blows my mind right now is like none of the people I talk to are born yet. Like, right now. Like, when I'm watching this. Ex. When I'm sitting in a wee bathtub, like, getting my belly rubbed and stuff like that, none of you are born. Vicky and I were, were coming into creation. Yeah. Too. Well, ooh, you weren't even wow. a twinkle in your daddy's eye at that point. That's a way to describe it, Beth. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, me like that. All right. On that note, Lily, what you got for us? <laughs> Mine are probably going to be way easier. Um, the first one is uh, predictable. predictable. This is my hardest one. <laughs> Unpredictable. Oh. Obvious. This is where I realise I don't know what the opposite is. 
Unpredictable is the opposite. Pre- unpredictable. Keep thinking on those lines. Unpredictable. unpredictable. <laughs> I'm just going to keep saying it until it's right. <laughs> unpredictable. Is it just one word? Yes. Obviously. Just Obvious. <laughs> Duh. Unpredictable. <clears throat> Hang on, wait, which one's the opposite? Is it predictable? <laughs> Your word is predictable. Predictable, right, okay, yeah. <laughs> Surprise? Nope. Boom. Duh. What? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, Lauren's just saying words now. <laughs> My brain just short, short circuited the minute someone said they were seven when Breaking Dawn came out. I'm done. It can't come into work. They're now twenty-one, just to hurt your brain more. You what? That means they're now twenty or twenty-one, just to hurt your brain more. They may still be at uni (laughs) potentially. (laughs) Anyway, your word is predictable. (laughs) (laughs) While Lauren has a crisis, I'm like, I'm still five foot three. Like, how does that even work? You're not going to grow any taller than that. No, I'm not. Shrink. About it. I'm shrinking, Renegade? so I'm sure not shrinking. What? Okay. Wait, what, what did you guess? Renegade. Renegade. Did you say predictable or unpredictable? <laughs> predictable. <laughs> I don't know why. I thought you were saying you un- about it enough. Unpredictable. Did I? No. Oh, no maybe I'm That's the line now. you want to think along. <laughs> Can we get ahead? But the word, uh, it's a sci fi. Oh, you I like sci-fi, don't you? They're oh, harder what? for you guys to guess. What, what are the <laughs> I don't read them. <laughs> it's did... not a like a full-on sci-fi. If you like, it's it's not a space sci-fi. Oh, do you remember like three minutes ago when Lily was like, like "Mine would be really easy to guess." Wait, this dystopian? is the only one that's difficult. I think I've got. Is it dystopian sci-fi? Um, I don't think so. Because I was going to say Divergent. Okay. No, Has it's anyone not in the chat got it yet? No, but some of the like, random word guesses were fairly close. But no one's got the actual book yet. Predictable. Unpredictable. Madness. Chaotic. Mess. Ran- oh, wait, did I say something? I just thought you said... You're, on the, right, you're on the right line. <laughs> it's a, it's more of a character trait. I would say, or okay, something okay. you would call someone. Maniac. Unruly. <laughs> On air Psycho? Show. Nope. Maybe you guys just don't know this book. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, I'm going to go to It chat. was fairly We're popular gonna... when it came out. Random? <laughs> Along the right lines, but not it. Okay. Chance? Uh, no. Not really. Oh, chaos. Spontaneous. Spontaneity. Deviant. Close to the deviant. No, probably not. Divergent. It's not divergent. Sorry, people. Give what one about again. Divergent. Oh, yeah. I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, <laughs> chaotic. It's the second book in a duology. Chaos? Rising? Chaos? Something? It's chaos? One word. Chaos? Yeah, it's just one word. Why? Yes. Chaos again? What age were you when it came out? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. I got it from a publisher, so I don't know. Um, oh, you got it from a publisher. Hmm. Popular enough to give arcs. Randomize? No. I, I think the author movie. recently got in trouble for an NFT oh. scandal. I think. Oh. Oh. I think. Oh. Have Legends. Been Addy, Legends. Oh, what? oh, war. Wait, what? what? Warcross, war. War cross? The other one, the second war cross one that I can't remember the name of. <laughs> oh, black, black, black with Wild green card. writing on it. Yeah, it is, but what's it called? I don't know. Wait, what's it called? Wildcard. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh <that's laughs> I don't know why you're taking all the credit for that. <laughs> I, <laughs> I didn't even own the second one. 
Okay, that was good. That was good. Called. The way I was trying to figure that out, being like sci-fi duology with all. <laughs> <laughs> The NFT scandal got me. It was like that or Adam saw Yeah, him. yeah. Well, as soon as you said the NFT scandal, I was like, who was it? I was holding yeah. that one, but I was like, if they're really not getting it, <laughs> we're just going to have to go with it. I'm I still don't um, really understand what the NFT scandal was. Oh, don't even. I don't, NFTs, I just don't understand anyway. Scandal I can explain NFTs. it briefly if you want to. <laughs> I don't think we want to go into it. I don't uh, quite understand NFTs anyway. But, like I literally, I was on TikTok recently and I found this boy and he was literally like five and he was like sitting in this fucking Ferrari and he, the guy was like, what would you do for a living? And he was like, I make NFTs. And I was like, can you teach me? Because I want that car. Like, <laughs> Was he actually five or is this no, like, like feeling old and having a crisis? 16. Probably. Okay. He was definitely a teenager. Like he definitely looked like a teenager. They were like twelve has now become they were like five. I still call Amy five, so Yes, I think they are too. I keep seeing them pop up. It's V U rent. I should probably actually do something, shouldn't I? Oh I can put them in timeout. What does that do? Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh I blocked them. Hey, block. <laughs> hey well done, bye. <laughs> I got so stressed out on, um, I did a Twitch stream and I tried to hook it up with YouTube and I didn't realise, because with Twitch, you can mod whilst you go, as you can here, but you can't mod whilst you go from YouTube onto the Twitch platform that I use. Um, so I was able to mod the Twitch comments, but not the YouTube ones. And I just had someone come through. T number one message was, are you gay? That was it. And then the <laughs> next message was, answer me. And then the next message was stupid white people. And then they just left. <laughs> And I was just like, what? <laughs> it was a very weird interaction. Wow. wow um, there you go, Lauren. That's what you need to know. Yeah, makes sense. That's why people are so mad at them. Mm -hmm. um, Lily, what's your uh, easier ones? I don't know. Um, I'm going in the order of like my most difficult ones first. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the Sunshine Returners. Why? The moon. Is it why? No. Something Middle givers. Grade. Middle grade. Does something givers? Oh. Okay. Returning. If it's middle grade, I have no chance. I don't read middle grade. Oh, oh no, you something, do. Something. Something takes oh. us. Sunshine returners. Uh, what's the what's the opposite to return it? Sunshine return uh the, the come backers <laughs> the, the what? The leavers. leavers returning if you're not returning you're leaving. No, not uh, that's then... not the right opposite. <laughs> the sunrise is it so sunrise so it must be sunset. No Forgot. sunshine. Oh, it's like a weather sunshine. related Ooh, opposite. Moonshine. Mm. Yeah, I said moon, but I don't think that's right. Rain? Moonshine. The Cloud. something something. Starshine? Stars? Is it, is it? You said it was more weather related, right? Like moon, clouds? Rain? Like the Such rain? Closest. Storm? That's not it. Storm, yeah. Storm, storm chase? Along the light Wait, rains. Storm, is it Storm Rider? No. Or something like that? Yes. Oh, oh, lightning thief? Lightning thief? Yes. <laughs> oh, oh we got one. there. That was good. That was good. You're right, I didn't know it, but I just hadn't read it. <laughs> like, everyone does know it, but... Okay, I wasn't like, literally um... missing when Harry Potter titles there. I don't think I've got any other good ones. Uh, <laughs> summer Desert. Winter. Did you say this? the Summer Dead Zone? Desert. Desert. <laughs> right, okay. Winter. <laughs> Winter Sea. <laughs> Yeah, winter. 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 Is there, is there... winter meadow, the winter garden. Yes. Oh, yeah. I should have guessed that. Yeah, you literally I thought right you'd get that. <laughs> you get it straight away. <laughs> literally, Beth like recommended that to me. I, I think after you she really said, bought you it for me. Yeah. It <laughs> Okay, well, that's um, successful. Um, yeah. Do you guys want to do one final sprint? Sounds good. 
Yep. Yeah. Again, I've lost the ability to actually check what the time is. Um, it's almost 10 o'clock. Oh, yeah, almost 10. Okay, for the final one, should we go up till half past 10 so we're not going too late with it? Sounds good. I say mm-hmm. from my grandma seat in the corner, but I have to wash my hair, which takes ages to dry. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm going to have a bath after this. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Lauren's just getting started with her day. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you literally just threw a joke at me that my dad throws at me. How dare you? You threw it yourself. <laughs> what? You say it yourself, though, so it's okay. But uh, I've already. Lauren just my... straight getting dragged on the live. I know. Yeah. I don't like this. I'm not coming back. It's how I show my love. Thank you, Ellie. No, we've already established that Ashley bullies me to show her love. <laughs> I can't have to. I literally said I was just like, bullying is my love language. I'm just like, I'm not yeah. going to actually show you affection, but if I'm going to bully you, then you know, I like In which case, Ashley it. just so so loves me so much. <laughs> <laughs> I just get constant whammers from her. It's, it's a sign of comfort. I without bullshitting it like I do think it's a sign that you're comfortable enough with someone to take the piss and know that you're not going to actually piss them off yeah <laughs> bye Cassandra thank you for coming hopefully see you on Patreon Sprints next week okay right I'm going to shut up now and we can read and then we'll um <laughs> not read <laughs> then I'm we can do the last talk. drawing round and then that'll be really quickly for tomorrow yeah, that'll be a nice way to sign off we can do the final drawing game Bye, Abby. Cool. Right, let's do this. Peace. Happy reading, folks.
Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. How's everybody's books going? Well, I now have a diaper. <laughs> okay, one at a time. How's everybody's books going? Who's going first? <laughs> Emotional damage. <laughs> well, I have just hit the point in the book where like everything's going a bit too happy go lucky, and I'm this close to the end, so I'm like, what's about to go wrong? Oh dear. Um, and I'm also I've got a dilemma because I'm on page 663. And it says I've got just under two hours of my audiobook left. Now, I plan on getting in the bath and continuing to listen to that, which means I'm only going to have about an hour left, which I could stay up and finish it tonight. But do I? Well, let's yeah. put it that way. I yeah. stayed up until 3 a.m. to finish yeah, it. So, yeah. Yeah, I vote you stay up. I mean, if I it's like, I I like, in the bath. I, didn't, I think once you get to the last hour, you're probably not going to want to stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're not going to want to stop. So what you've all just heard is Lauren, who is technically my boss, uh, endorsing me <laughs> to tomorrow at work. <laughs> well, to be fair, if it's only an extra hour, I mean, as long as you're not up until three. <laughs> Which Lauren fair, definitely won't be. I won't be. To be, fair, to be fair, I could still be awake at three and it not affect anything because I went through the whole, like, I think it was five months of insomnia where I fell asleep at 4am every night. <laughs> Do you know what? At the end of the day, you're an adult and you just do what you want. <laughs> and it is Friday tomorrow, so why yeah. not? Yeah. Yeah, we know she doesn't I mean, do anything on a Friday at work. Yeah. We still mm. we still have a lot of work to do, but at least it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I'm usually I'm not stressed. <laughs> I'm not stressed at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, how did how did everyone else do? I I um so there's been this big grey bit in the middle that you can't tell is there, but I've been wondering what that is, and it was so cool to read through that I am now on page 185. Yeah, I started those sprints on like 125 because wow. it was literally just journal entries. So yeah, cool. Yeah, I had a look at that. I think not long after I started it mm -hmm. um but i decided that this time i would also reach uh, read, read balance and i read 30 pages got to part three and uh, yeah, I'm, just, I'm on chapter 12 you liking it um yes but i re don't really feel like i've like got to the point yet um, mm -hmm. And the other thing is that, like, I was, so I was discussing this with Sammy because um, she read it, I think, last week. And we were saying, well, I said, like, I, th I think the writing is quite almost like lyrical. Yes. And definitely. I don't mind that, but I am, um, I prefer, like, di like, lots of dialogue and things like that. And it's, yeah. the writing is good. Like, I can definitely appreciate the writing for what it is. But I'm not really like a lyrical, yeah, not really a lyrical writing person. It's interesting because I mean? obviously the main character doesn't speak, so yeah. we're not getting any dialogue from her. The yeah. main character doesn't speak. Mm -hmm. No, interesting. But I, yeah. I don't, I don't mind, I don't mind that. If like I, I don't know, it's really difficult. You seem to, very like, conflicted. Like, I, really, I like dialogue. <laughs> I usually like dialogue. Well, lots of dialogue in a book but the fact that she doesn't speak like doesn't really because you're in her mind yeah that makes sense so it, it doesn't really like I don't, I don't really mind <laughs> but yeah mm. it's it's good well yeah it's good so far I don't know yeah. why I get it. it's interesting Chris Schwab seems to be like almost experimenting more I'm gonna mute myself because yes yeah. hang on Because well, Ashley's taking a brief pause. Anyone who <laughs> wants to do any pre-orders on Waterstone right now, the Ballad of Never After signed edition is finally available. Yeah, Back to Ashley. Sorry for that. <laughs> Wait, what happened that you had to mute for? There was a siren going past and it's like oh. underneath my window, so you'd have been able to hear yeah. it. Oh, I thought you'd need a fart or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, 
it seems like Schwab's just kind of experimenting more with the new yeah. releases that they're bringing out. So I'm finding it interesting, like how varied people's opinions are now when it comes to what books yeah. they've written. I really before. enjoy the writing style, but I do think it reminds me more of something like Slade House um, by David Mitchell or that one that everyone went nuts about. Um, that weird one that everyone... Um... Oh, the trees or something? Was it Sarah Marie Griffiths or whatever? Like, oh, oh, other words for smoke. Yeah, it's got that kind of house isolated hauntediness yeah. about it. Um, yeah, and the lyrical... It's quite a fast read, but I, the plot is not heavy. It's not massively action packed yet. Mm. Yeah, like, I don't really, I don't really feel like I've really like got to the point of it, and I'm mm. 110 pages in. Nearly um, 200, and I feel the same. Well, yeah. I think I've just got there. I think I've just got there. 185 pages. Yeah, it's, but it's not. It's definitely like I mean, it's V Schwab, so it's definitely not like bad at all. Yeah. Um, but I've. I think I've only read like the uh this savage song like that duology, um, like obviously her middle grade mm. stuff. Um what else? oh yeah, I read the first vicious book and then Invisible Life. Um it it actually reminds me a bit more of what's it called? The the what's that witch sort the of The New Witch. Yes. Yeah, Sorry, I can see that. On my shelf. I didn't actually that's like what that. it reminds me a yeah. little bit of. Yeah, I could see that. Do you know something? I don't think I've read a Schwab book since finishing the Darker Shade of Magic series, which was a long time ago. I've only like, read the first book. Out. Out. Haven't read the others yet. I I would like to read the Extraordinaries um, graphic novel because Ashley, I saw oh, yeah. you read the first one ah. recently. Up there. Yeah, it's pretty good. I feel like mm. I've dipped my toes into like most of Schwab beyond yeah, yeah same. archive and like I have such a range of opinions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, on my program yeah. yesterday I just like rattled them all off because I was like, well there's this series with this and there's this series with this. <laughs> yeah. No, I can definitely agree with that because I feel like so yeah, some of like you were saying, like I've She's experimenting more, but her writing always feels like so varied. Like mm. reading Vicious, but then reading like The Near Witch, for example. Yeah. Like when I read when I read The Near Witch, like I just feel like two completely I mean, I know they are separate books and separate series, but I just feel like completely different writing yeah. styles almost. I feel like she really probably... reminds me of Neil Gaiman in that like yeah. there's some Neil Gaiman books that are really kind of mainstream fantasies and there's some that are just mm. completely wild yeah and then he's yeah. got like his mythology books now as well mm -hmm. so sense, I, I feel like she's doing the same thing so i think they both reached that point in their career where they can just do what they want yeah it just makes sense because um schwab is always mentioning neil gaiman yeah yeah yeah, so yeah. It's just like is this where your inspiration is coming from? <laughs> yeah. Didn't yeah, they did, a, like, they did like a live show together and they mm. were both like vibing yeah. so much. And you're like, yeah, you are the same person. <laughs> they remember her saying it with her signing and she said that she had tea with Neil Gaiman and she says it was the most fangirly moment she ever had. Because <laughs> she was like, I can't believe I'm having tea with Neil Gaiman. And oh, ironically, oh. it was, oh wait, actually, the funny thing was actually she was having tea a... I think it's when she said she was having tea with him and we were sitting having tea with her in Glasgow. Because, like, the signing was so small at that point. Mm. And she was just like, do you want cupcakes? Oh, I remember, like, I remember you going to that, actually. That was wild. And she was that like... Was, that was years ago. Oh she, um, someone brought her, like, a bunch of, like, cupcakes, like, themed after her books. And she was just like, do you want to sit down? And we were like, uh, yeah. And I was, like, right next to her. And I was like... <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I've read this. I loved it. I thought it was brilliant. And is I really Bishaw, is it? I don't know if I'm saying it right. Is that the? Is it by Shunem? How do you say it? It's T J Clune. Yeah, that one's T J Clune. But you're saying Shannon Maguire. <laughs> I get why though. Like, I do. Very... I do actually. Now you now you said the author. I'm like, oh yeah, actually, I do have that. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing the Rhythm and Doors is um, the same kind of cover as the House and the Cerulean Sea. Yeah. Um, no, I don't know. Yeah, I really liked Under the Whispering Door. Um, I thought it was really, really lovely kind of book. Um, Lily, how did you go in those prints, by the way? I don't think we 
Um, I don't really know how much I read. Um, I got through like uh actiony scenes, so I can't really say much because <laughs> it'll be spoilers. Yeah, but um, yeah, I think it's it's getting interesting. I think the thing that I'm finding most frustrating about this book is I just don't know who's telling the truth anymore. <laughs> and Danica mm-hmm. has far too many secrets. Like, yeah. how are you best friends with this person for so long and she still has this many secrets? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, like major that's secrets. one of the things that I really, like, felt sorry for Bryson because, like, she probably felt as if she did not know her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I think that was just a line in the book that I was just listening to where she's like, I feel like I don't know Danica anymore. Yeah, and that was, that's probably hard for her because, like, obviously, you know... Oh, also, I'm it. questioning why <laughs> every single male in this book seems to fall in love with Bryce. <laughs> like why is she that great one thing that did bug me about this one is the first one I think had a really strong sense of um, female unity and a group of women whereas this one it still has the female characters but there are a lot like it's I feel like the men. yeah it is all about that. a lot of the times it's the her men. and all of these alpha hole men I like the men I like the characters apart from yeah. one of them but I thought yeah it was a mm-hmm. lot like See, I feel like in the next one there's going to be a U-turn on that. Like, I feel like it's been purposely done because literally a scene I've just read is kind of hinting that there's going to be Mm -hmm. some kind of thing going on. Yeah, I hope so. Vicky, (laughs) read the damn book. (laughs) I was just like, yes! I I think, well, I said to my sister that I was, she, like I said earlier, she keeps dragging me for not reading either of them. And I said that I would read them after my exams um, and just read them back to back. Because obviously they're like quite chunky and I just thought it's just probably best for me to just finish them. Like I actually need to finish Empire of Storms. I started that almost a year, pretty much a year ago now. Can you still remember where you're at with it? I mean, I have a bookmark. <laughs> <laughs> I I've, I did, I read it before um, and then... Yeah, I was just rereading it because I was rereading it to finish uh, to read Tower of Dawn and Kingdom of Ash for the first time. So I was like going through the series, but then I moved moved out, and then just that like I then mean, I just never picked it back up again. Tower of Dawn. So I've still never read Kingdom of Ash. I read you know, it Kingdom of Ash saved the series for me. Really? Yeah, I it, just didn't it, like that like, series very much. Um, it. Like I always say, like my opinions for Throne of Glass is a complete roller coaster. Like loved it, loved it, loved it. Eight of yeah. Fire down a bit. Queen of Shadows plummets to the depths of hell. Comes back up slightly more for Empire of Storms. Tower of Dawn loved that, and then Kingdom of Ash restored the series for me. And it's funny because mm. it's like a complete one eighty. Like I had favorite characters at the beginning of the series and characters yeah. I hated. The characters I hated ended up becoming my favorites in Kingdom of Ash. So. I would still like recommend people who aren't like sure about it. I would still recommend like reading it just to see what happens. Mm-hmm. Like, see for me, po- I haven't read it because I hated Tower of Dawn so much that, that. I just mm-hmm. didn't want to read Kingdom of Ash. Yeah. And then I've tried to reread the series, and I got to Tower of Dawn again. And I was like, I can't put myself through this a second time. Mm-hmm. So I still haven't read Kingdom of Ash. Yeah. <laughs> that is the reason why. I ha- so I haven't read Tower of Dawn before, but that is the reason why like, I think I got to Empire. Like I was going through them all quite well last March, and then I got to like Empire Storms, and obviously, like I said, moved out and everything. So that was that. But I think it's also the knowledge that I need to read Tower of Dawn, and I just like I can't bring myself to do it and like I remember when Kingdom of Ash came out I was like okay I'm finally gonna read Tower of Dawn and then go straight into Kingdom of Ash and I just I just still haven't done it like mm. it's just the thought of like people say Tower of Dawn is good but look at it this way right I strongly <laughs> disagree with that statement <laughs> look at it this way right opinion. I was dreading Tower of Dawn like I was absolutely yeah, dreading that's- it that's and the main character of that was my favourite character at the beginning of the series, right? And, and I was still I dreading it. I was still dreading it. And I read it and I loved it. It took me by like by complete surprise. Just go in with like no yeah. expectations. Don't listen to Lily. Like, <laughs> <thing is that. laughs> I was reading Throne of Glass like as they were coming out because I started yeah. it when it was on the Crown of Midnight. So I was keeping up with it as they were yeah, same. Mm-hmm. And then I just stopped when she announced that Tower of Dawn was a thing because I yeah. do not like Hale. Mm, um, yeah, absolutely not. I um, was 
similar, but just with I was with it like started reading yeah. them with Air of Fire. But I, I really like just... I really like Kale, but I, I don't think by the summary of how it ends, I really don't I don't think that book adds much apart from what you need to know as to where you get. Yeah. So to, I so, so the person said, Can you skip it? And I tried. I tried to skip Tower of Dawn and read Kingdom of Ash, this and thing. things didn't make sense to me because I'd forgotten everything that happened in Tower of Dawn. Um, so people say, the, like, I remember so many people being like, "Oh, you can skip it," and I'm like, "No, you can't." There you is can't, a big yeah. thing that is announced in that book that you cannot skip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there's like characters that come from that book, and like because yeah. all of the Sarah J. Mars characters have weird names i don't retain who anyone is so yeah. when i was trying to read kingdom of ash and they were talking about all of these characters from tower of dawn that i haven't read recently i was like i have no idea who you are yeah. or what your relationships are and that is really impacting the fact that i don't understand yeah. this book i think you could get an i think you if you really wanted to i think you could get like some kind of summary that would give you like the key things because there, yeah the thing that happens at the end wouldn't make sense for what happens in the next book like a spoiler but, somebody, like a really spoiler detail. Yeah, yeah so, I would say so. I think what I'm going to do is that so people like recommend that you can read it as like a tand like tandem read it. So like Empire of Storms sort of alongside. Yeah, you can. Um, Tower of Dawn. So my plan, because I, I to be honest, I've got so far through Empire of Storms like last March. Like I do remember what happened. So I don't really want to go through and like read that again because as well I'm like I'm essentially reading it twice with where I'm up to so my plan is to tend like read up to the chapters in Tower of Dawn like where the tandem read like connects and then just carry on like that if that makes sense so like mm -hmm. just read up I to actually where try I that as it. well that sounds like a good idea because then you don't have to just solidly read Tower of Dawn yeah because I was like if it if that's how people like some people have recommended it I'm just thinking that would like motivate me then like and maybe a bit more motivation just to read Tower of Dawn so that I can or carry on. Audio book. Audio book did not help me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I still wrote a Tower of Dawn four stars, but like in terms of Sarah J. Mars, I read it. For me, I was just like, it was fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like it wasn't. It thing. was nothing like mind blowing, but I thought like compared to like Empire of Storms and Queen of Shadows, it was so much better. Like. The one thing I don't like about it, though, is a lot of people have been saying that it's like Kale's redemption book, and I'm like, he's got nothing to redeem for. He's irritating. I, I gave it three stars. <laughs> it made me dislike him more. <laughs> no, though, the yeah, thing okay. is, even if I do get through all of this, I keep looking at Kingdom of Ash, and I feel like this book surely, especially because of my feelings about the first Crescent City book, this book will not need to be a thousand pages, and I'm going to get annoyed at her for making it a thousand pages. Yeah. Because Less though, I read... But the, the first book. Crescent City book, I feel like could have had at least 300 pages cut out of it. So <laughs> I'm literally here, like, how has she written a book that's a thousand pages long? I'm not convinced I'm going to enjoy it. I would agree, but I would love to just cut out all of the Aelin and Rowan scenes. Like, everything. <laughs> not have that book. <laughs> I just want Henry, to the series is not anyone's favourite. Like... I just I I love that book, but purely for the side characters, like Aileen and Rowan just did my nut in the entire time, <laughs> the whole time. She does get progressively more annoying as you read the book. You know, yeah. see in Empire of Storms, there's a brief moment that makes I won't say any spoilers, but like, um, it makes me very nostalgic for the earlier books, and I actually got really really sad when that moment happened. It's something to do with like Aileen, and I was really sad because I was like, this is the character I loved. Like, this is the first female, like, fantasy character that really sucked me into a book, like, fast enough to, um, you know, like, get hooked on it, basically. Yeah. And now I've got Aileen. <laughs> Do you feel um, that's kind of what frustrates me with the Akatar series? I feel like that started off as a good fantasy series, and then she just... Was like, no, I'm gonna be a fantasy romance author now, and yeah, yeah, correct a romantic. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I still I think they're like good fantasy it. romances, but I feel yeah. like it's a shame that it went that way with a series that yeah. started off not a fantasy romance. Yeah, it I'm was not interesting big on any really because I felt because obviously she was writing like the Akatar series at the same as she was like writing towards the end of the Throne of Glass series. I think because I think she was kind of I think Akatar might have come out like around the same time as Empire of Storms, like. Akatar we used to get a book in March and then yeah. we'd get and that would be the Akatar book and we'd get Throne yeah. of Glass in September. September. 
So uh, what I, I think what I noticed move. was like I know Akatar was like adult or whatever, but I've really found that obviously like certain scenes in Empire of Storms I felt only came out because like she only put them in because she was putting in similar scenes in her. You know, like, Akatar, Akatar was thing? originally marketed as YA. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it was, wasn't it? And now I look back on it and I think that's like absolutely wild that they decided yeah. that as a wire like, book. I think I got... Akatar I can understand, but they're not. It's definitely not the, the upper story. end of YA yeah. still with Akatar. Yeah. Akatar, like, I got and I read right away and I, like, I was like, right, Sarah, like, come on, help me out here. Because I think I read it after Queen of Shadows. I was like, help me out here. Like, Queen of Shadows was a disappointment for me. Like, come on, get it, get me back into the zone here. And I hated Akatar. Like, I hated it. And I was like, right, that's it. And then Akamath came out. And I remember Christine was like, are you reading it yet? Like, because I got my copy early from Book Depository. It like, came like a week oh, early. Yeah. She was like, are you going to read it? Are you going to read it? And I was like, nah. And she was like, you're mad. Like, why not? She got it and she read it. She was like, Laura, you have to read this. So I finally sat down and I read it. I was like, oh my God, why did I not read this in early? <laughs> like, I know if I went back now and I read Akatar now, I would see all the foreshadowing and I would love it and stuff like that. But yeah. like, I feel like oh, Akatar was just a big like <laughs> for me as well. And no, I do not like Akamath purely because of Ryzen. <laughs> I prefer Akawar. I think I'm the only one because I like a good battle scene in a book. You know something? And that I has a great battle that. scene. Yeah, it's got such a good battle scene. Plus Cassian. Yeah, <laughs> that. Um, also, I've had this comment pinned for a while because I just needed to um, to pin it, really, because what a great comment. <laughs> good this you. blue alien thing, the ace barbarian. Like, oh yeah, like, yeah. Oh, what a rabbit hole to fall down. It's like a whole thing. There's a lot of it out there. Yeah. Wow. I just I watched someone's um like read along of it, and they were like, "I'm going to try and read this and let's like, see how it goes." And you literally just set them like sit on their porch and like read it. And our reactions as the like time lapse goes on, and I'm like, "What happens in this book?" <laughs> yeah, I really want to read it just to see what happens, but I think it's only like available in ebook in the UK because I think they've only published it physically in America. And I think I'd struggle to focus on that as what an ebook. What the hell is this book called? Ice, Ice Planet Barbarian. Barbarians. Ice Planet Barbarians. Yeah, you can't miss it. Like Blue Man. It's on a really way. big series. <laughs> it's like twenty-two books in a series, I think. And yeah. it started off as like a Wattpad thing, and then it got really popular. So oh, I published it. Of How have I not heard this? It's a big TikTok book. You don't, oh. well, you don't have book talk, do you, on your feed? No, so I'm not on book talk. Uh, no, I just don't get book talk on my TikTok. It's you think funny being a yeah, like, if you've not got that, you have seen it. Oh, for God's sake. You, it's the first like You'd think being abducted by aliens would be the worst thing that could happen to me. You'd be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, the main character is big horned and blue and he really really has a thing for me oh my god this looks I, are people reading this seriously or like is it a joke? yeah people I genuinely started, like these books started as a joke is now serious. it's only 188 I pages it's actually, like pretty good but it depends i don't know like, i think i actually <laughs> should read it for a vlog yeah i'm going to save my comfort zone <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, on the... <laughs> it's free on kindle <laughs> Well, see, this is what's happening with this mindfuck series is like everyone is um like talking about how like the covers are awful they had a cover redesign the cover is still awful and they're like this is the most screwed up thing i've ever heard but it's amazing and i'm like what is making this amazing like i want to know what it is and if i would if i had to choose between serial killer fbi romance and blue aliens i'm sorry but it's like no competition i kind of want to read this for a <laughs> vlog now to be honest with you I'll do main fuck you do ice barbarians. It's got four to five star ratings, and I'm sorry, but I just don't see how. Like, actually, it's got one one person's given it a one star rating, and they've called it missing trigger warning, simple plot, utterly ridiculous scenarios. Really, it's got utterly ridiculous scenarios. I would never guessed that was happening. Actually, you underestimate though the power yeah. of like romance book talk and how much what they will read. Oh, <laughs> romance book it. talk is intense. What did Gavin think about it? I don't know. Actually, I'm gonna have to look at that. Weird, quote unquote, books that I'm like, what, what, what are you doing now? 
<laughs> it just looks so but I mean I can get it for free on Prime for some bizarre reason. Do it. Oh god, it looks yeah. so but I hate erotica, so I'm not gonna Oh, you're gonna hate it. Well just go into <laughs> I... it knowing you're gonna hate it and then that'll just be like I think it'll be more of a people are watching it for your reactions kind of thing. Oh the stuff that I've got now coming up is related to this item. Oh wow. Gavin read it as a joke but was surprised at how good it was. <laughs> This is That's the like thing that I think people. most people started reading it as a joke because I remember, like, I think when it burst, did it have a cover redesign or something? Yeah, yeah. did it? Yeah, this so, is a redesign. So, so, when the cover, but like the original cover was out, I remember somebody that I follow on Instagram posting about it, like, oh, I've seen this a bit around like Bookstagram, Book Talk. And I was like, what is she reading? What is this? <laughs> and then I can't remember what she said about it, but I remember like as she was reading it, she was like taking taking the mick a bit. But yeah, I think what started as a, out as a joke has now come seriously. There are like twenty two sequels out, not just one sequel. <laughs> I started by Barry. It's a big series. This is the thing I saw one of my friends who I would not expect to like that sort of thing. I think she's on like book nine or something, and I was like, excuse me. <laughs> There's nine, there's oh nine books of Ice Planet Barbarian. I think there's, like, there's 22, I'm pretty sure. There's 22. There are 22 books in that series. <laughs> what could possibly right. be happening up there? A lot of things. <laughs> it's a sign of alien, um, <laughs> alien place. There's aliens, anything can happen. Some of them <laughs> vary in price as well. So book number 22 is £2.89, whereas book number 19 is 99p. So maybe that one's not quite as good. <laughs> I mean, yeah, seriously, like, the reason... I don't like erotica is because I just always find it ridiculous and like I don't I don't like ridiculous sex I like a good sex scene but I like a good sex scene I don't want like lapping and and pumping <laughs> um which is why I'm always like uh, about erotica stuff so um like a little bit of thing, though, it's like it is kind of what you go into it expecting cause it's like, exactly oh, yeah. you know something about like alien erotica then you can't be like oh this wasn't realistic it's like well no shit Sherlock <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> what is this ice planet barbarian, barbarian doing those things to her? I just don't think that would happen in real life. I just find it hilarious that it's genuinely in like Barnes and Noble in the yeah. US and people could just pick that up and not not know. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I, so, I saw I the mean, Spanish love deception in Toppins the other day and I was dead proud of the girl. Like I said, when I was walking at the store, I was like, I'm so proud of her. <laughs> I was like, look how big. I was going to say earlier when we were talking about age ranges, I was like, didn't we find Scarlet St. Clair in the YA section? The King of Battle and Blood one? Mm. And I was like, I'm pretty sure that's not YA. Yeah, because I said to Amy, I said to Amy, I was like, oh, like, there's that book you read. And she was like, I've not read that. And I was like, I'm pretty sure you read it. And she was like, no, I've not read it. And she was like, oh, wait, I have read it. <laughs> I was like, was it that bad then? <laughs> you... Oh, yeah, man, I think I might just send this to my Kindle for the for the lols. I thought you were about to say send it to my sister, and I was like... (laughs) It's the two things I dislike most, sci-fi and erotica, but I think that could be a fun video. I'm only reading the first one, though. Is that a fun video if it's only the first one? Someone, I think it would be. Someone quote this, because what if Beth actually somehow likes that? I don't see that ever happening, but what if actually she ends up liking it? I've sent it to apparently my kin... Hang on, really? Is that sent it to my... Oh God! Please don't send it to my mum's Kindle. (laughs) (laughs) I only realised the day that my Amazon Kindle stuff was connected to my dad's, and I'm there with like fantasy romance. (laughs) And took that option. (laughs) Yeah, I'll get my Kindle stuck on Kingdom of the Cursed. Oh, it's just stuck. What do you do when it's just stuck? Uh, I I untick it. It's not. I can't. I'm. I'm holding the. I'm holding the on button. Yeah, I just turn it off all the way until. It's good. <laughs> Is that the last time you used your Kindle reading that? Yeah. Wow. Oh, my books are physical. It's not turning off. <laughs> There's only one button, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. Great. <laughs> I will say my version of reading things where it's just like, why? Why am I reading this? Drunk Patreon live show. Or at least I believe it was Patreon Live Show. <laughs> uh, me narrating kissing the coronavirus out loud while drunk. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, I'm so sad I missed that. Like, that what a choice. Can you do sad. that tomorrow? 
I'll be on just a work call with you. <laughs> be on a work call with you all day. Just in the room. Yeah, just really like, actually <laughs> read to me whilst I work. Have you read the whole thing? Not all of it, but like a good a good chunk of it. I oh, wish I found like anything that looked explicit and was like, cool, I'll start here. <laughs> <laughs> It was uh, quite quite something. Well, guys, I broke my Kindle. <laughs> I think we should do this Halloween. We should do one of the Edinburgh tours with the whiskey one, which I've said to Amy. Like, we need to do the whiskey one, and then we'll go to Carnivore, take some shots, some protective shots, and then come back and read Ice Barbarians out loud to your Patreons. <laughs> I already regret doing this because now I've got the Barbarian Before Christmas as recommendations <laughs> to me. <laughs> What a title. Oh, for God's sake, now it's read me notes of short story sci-fis. Mm. Oh, you don't well, my... get screwed up, do you? My oh. boyfriend randomly got recommended um, Alice in Wonderland erotica. Um, and as a joke, he was like, I'm just going to read this to see what this is like. And now it's all he gets recommended. <laughs> <laughs> when I was down at Beth's, um, I don't know what happened, but like, uh, we used like something else if I wanted to watch something so we didn't mess up our recommendations and we watched BTS like once and she started getting like recommendations on it. <laughs> it oh like... god yeah yeah I wouldn't let she wanted to show me all this BTS stuff and I wouldn't let her put no, it on you my asked. YouTube because I didn't want to yeah yeah because I didn't want to like mess up my YouTube recommendations with <laughs> BTS stuff. Yeah and um, then with yeah. um, what was it one one day I was like I, was, I don't know if I was in the bathroom or something I came out and you were like have you been watching BTS on my TV because it came up somewhere I was like I've not watched that, I've not watched that. <laughs> I was like yeah my this is gonna be great I'm not gonna listen to my recommendations yeah I've I've plugged it in oh yeah the batteries died even though I did have one charge okay fun times yeah I don't use I would like to use my Kindle more but I just don't have a need to because I've got all the books I want to read in physical format. Mm. So, yeah, but I will. I, like, can't, when I can't see them, so mm -hmm. I can't see them on the Kindle. So I just don't think about them. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah. I when I go on holiday in May, my mom's like, "Oh, you can take the Kindle with you." I'm like, "Oh, I just, I, I'll bring it," but I'm still mm -hmm. going to bring like loads of physical books as yeah. well because I don't just want to rebuy everything. Yeah. Really depends. Like, if I decided I wanted to read like the new Hanya Yanagihiro book, then yeah, all right, I might buy that on my Kindle, <laughs> but like anything mm -hmm. normal size. Yeah, I found, books for pictures. I found yeah. that me and, so me and my sister Katie, we both have Kindles and we read a lot of the same books. Um, and she, I don't know if you've heard of this thing that Amazon do where you can like share your library with like a, fa like a family thing. Yeah. Um, so we've got that, only it's mostly like she gets, the books on deals but I've already got some of them so like I read the Spanish Love Deception on the Kindle app on my phone mm -hmm. I think last week but that was her that had bought it not me so that yeah was, that worked out really well because I have a physical copy but I just read it on the Kindle because it was easier but yeah, yeah she gets quite a few so I just like nab them. Do you like it? <laughs> Spanish Love Deception yeah I did quite like it to be fair the end, the ending is better than the beginning. Yeah, there's like you know when you're just reading something and you're like, oh my god, like just realize. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah the slow burn, and she takes it a little bit too far. I, yeah, I feel. she said it's in the like, next book it happens earlier. I give her the benefit of the doubt in the sense that like it is self-published. Obviously, she didn't really have like editors and stuff like yeah. that to help her. So like I kind of give it that i would be very curious to see if like the actual published one in the us is any different like if it's been edited down or something is that not the mine isn't self-published yeah mine's not it's now been published hasn't it yeah simon schuster yeah yeah, yeah, it's been yeah published now, but the one i got was was self-published yeah um, oh, okay i i would like to know if atlas 6 the self-published version does a bit more of the sex scene because it was very much a fade to black type of scene in the in the finished copy or the arc at least um you actually read the self-published one didn't you was was there a more vivid sex scene i'd probably have to read to compare because i'm just like mm. what what classes is 
explicit. It was one specific <laughs> sex scene that I know which one you mean. It's just like I don't know what you'd. It basically didn't even happen. It was like about to happen, and then it faded to black, and then you knew mm. it had happened, but you didn't see it happen. I can't remember there being anything like too. You know, there wasn't Sarah J. Marge. You know. Mm. <laughs> I just there was, no the... there was no nothing like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I I yearn for books to do sex scenes. Well, I just want a good sex scene. Um, I've got no idea if, if this book is as devastating as the Great first one. Um, Right one. Yeah, write a fire planet Barbadians. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going to write a sex scene, it's not going to be like that. <laughs> You've got some touchy. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> You've got some touchy. No, so well, now that I'm interested in that book, it just went downhill. No. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Everything. It's funny because someone commented saying something like, oh, I'm interested in hearing your thoughts on the comparisons between self-published and published. And I was like, honey, you're going to be weird a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like I've only just read The Atlas Six a few months ago. I'm not reading it again that soon. Yeah. <laughs> and then by the time I reread it, I'm probably not going to remember enough yeah. to like, compare the differences. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, yeah. that sounds like I a good feel... idea for that for me. <laughs> yeah, I think when I was reading the arc, someone was like, oh, you're going to read the finished one as well. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> like just the art I'm pretty sure it's not going to go through many changes in the next month <laughs> well she said that um, like there are changes in it oh really from the art it's all in this like well not arc maybe but between the self published and oh, okay yeah the tall one because everyone's calling it like Olivier's version in terms of Taylor Swift <laughs> but because <laughs> like, she was saying that she had to cut stuff out because self publishing you have to pay like per page so mm. like she had to condense some stuff so that it wouldn't end okay. up being ridiculously expensive to print it whereas in the tour edition she can actually extend in that and obviously she's had editors and stuff to help her flesh out certain yeah. things and, mm -hmm. you know makes sense oh god she was meant to be fleshing stuff out <laughs> <laughs> i really liked it so i'm just like <laughs> yeah like, i gave it 3.5 i found it Bore. There was a lot I wanted it to do. I thought it started really well, and I was like, "Oh my god, this is gonna be a fave! I love it. It's so good." At the start, it's like a movie, and then in the middle, I was just like, "What? What?" <laughs> Don't think English people swear, Lauren. <laughs> oh god, I forgot about that part. Oh, I'm English so people don't swear. Yeah, I messaged you about that, Ashley, didn't I? Yeah, but I was like, even that, because you were just like, "Did she really think this is a stereotype?" And I was like, I just found that funny. Yeah, it like it's the thing of, that's my humor where I'm like, I take mick of the stereotypes that we have. <laughs> yeah. I think she just was being stereotype. I don't think she was doing it to take the mick. I think the way, oh, there was something else. There was a swearing and oh, the sex thing about British people not talking about sex. And he was like, I'm much too British for this conversation. And I'm like, all right, then you clearly not met Beth. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> See, that's just a, a thing for me. Like, it's fairly normal for the people yeah. that I'm usually around that. It yeah, just... <laughs> I guess it's never anything I've seen. Yeah, oh, I was just like, why is that even? Uh, oh god, that yeah, the more I did like it, but I didn't love it sadly. <laughs> I have bought the Waterstones edition because it's pretty. <laughs> Sprayed edges are nice. Same. Yeah, um, I feel like we're probably not going to do another drawing game, are we? I think we're um, should we wind down soon? We're just so terrible, can... Yeah. Go do their perspective washing. <laughs> <laughs> I need to. Oh God, what time is? Oh, I've, I've got to wash my hair and then wait like an hour and a half for it to dry. Oh my God, we're yeah. going to bed late. Yes, yes, I'm going to I go am. Bed at like half past twelve. <laughs> I've got the thing now where it's like, even though I said I was going to finish this tonight, I'm getting a slight headache, so I'm probably just going to sit in the bath and be like, Yeah, fair. <laughs> I want to go to sleep because I need to be up at uh, well half. Oh, yeah, I need to be up at half six. Uh. I need to get my day started. <laughs> <laughs> a nice, a nice jog. Cook some pancakes for breakfast. Yeah, listen to the birds. Watch a bit of Switch. Play a little bit of Nintendo. <laughs> Maybe start a new project. Who knows? There you go, Lily. Are you off to bed? Yeah, I'll be getting to bed. 
Yeah, I've got to tidy up the mess of books around me. By the way, just if you wanted to see what covers I had picked for you to draw again, I picked this because I thought that the person and the flower combination would... Oh, um, absolutely not. not. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and then I wanted to give you something a bit more architectural based. So we had the house in the and see. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, I thought this one would be the you know this is the pretty standard option. Yeah, yeah. That's so the that's one I would have won up because I would have just coloured everything down the left hand side black. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, there we go. I've, I've blocked my screen with the books again now. So many books everywhere. <laughs> uh, but thank you everybody for joining us. Um, it's been fun. Uh, happy World Book Day. Um, and I hope you guys will enjoy being on the live with me. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for um, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thanks, guys. I felt like when um, your mum comes to pick you up. Um, <laughs> yeah, I always what, think what you that say? when we finish thanks a live. Thank you for having <laughs> us. <laughs> um, I'll go around and ask if you guys have got anything coming up that you want to throw people towards. Lauren, you got anything? Tomorrow's Tomorrow Instagram post. post. Anything exciting happening? Tomorrow's uh... post. Tomorrow's <laughs> post. I don't know what it's going to be yet. But there's going to be a post. That's exciting stuff, guys. Exciting stuff. Um, Vicky, what are you going to plug for us? Um, well, obviously I have an exam coming up, but <laughs> <laughs> um, blog, exam. blog posts. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Hopefully returning a bit more. Um, which can be found at whatvickyread.com. Mm -hmm. um, because the I have question here, why, to... why? Why? I mean, Lauren and Vicky, that's you. Why do you not have YouTube channels? Because um, I hate my voice and I hate my face and I can't edit. <laughs> <laughs> only two of those... Wait, only one of those things is true. Well, yeah, but then... No, that's the truth for me. I just don't right, have the... Okay, right. I just personally don't have the confidence for YouTube. Yeah. I just choose not to do it. Just being honest. <laughs> <laughs> just to be perfectly honest. And I, I did actually say this past weekend. I said to Ashley and Amy, I was like, I need to find something either to commit to, either aim for Twitch or aim for YouTube. And then it was Ashley said, you really you talk too much for YouTube. And I was like, fine. <laughs> no, I said you would be better suited for Twitch because you talk shit. <laughs> <laughs> There we not go. Much better, but... <laughs> Actually, that is a good point. You can go for something you love. You can just talk for ages without anyone needing to say anything about you it in a good way. Yourself, if you had to edit yourself. <laughs> yes, you would. I hated having to edit you. <laughs> <laughs> I do actually remember you saying that. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with me? I did all everything you told me to to pause. <laughs> just stare at the camera to stop talking. <laughs> I think, I think you're still just salty over the fact that I won the book thing. Yeah, that was annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, what have you got coming up that you'd like to plug? Just the usual, really. Videos, Instagram posts, they're all under a fault through fiction. Enjoy. Boom. <laughs> nice. Really? Um, yeah, same, really. I uploaded a new video today for World Book Day. Um, there might be more videos next week. We'll find out if I film this weekend. Um, <laughs> that's about it, really. <laughs> um, cool. I've got... Well, I started my Twitch about three weeks ago now, and I'm near, so nearly at 250 followers on Twitch, hey. which is cool um, for just starting it. So if anyone wants to head over there, I'm Books Nest, or there's a link. I don't know where the link is, but there's a link somewhere um, <laughs> on my YouTube or on my Twitter or whatever. Um, but I'm really close so yeah any followers there would be much appreciated um, and I've got my live shows twice a week for Patreon content for all tiers so Hobbiton onwards um, next week twice weekly because uh, I like to have no rest um, at all ever <laughs> Beth uh, just has all the hobbies <laughs> yeah I like to be constantly online apparently <laughs> the funny thing was is I just said it as a passing idea I was just like you should try Twitch she did not stop until she got on Twitch. She did not stop. <laughs> I just like it. I like creating content. It makes me happy interacting with people. So it's a good thing yeah. you've got then. Yeah, it's, it's all good. So yeah, that's what everyone's doing. Um, thanks for everyone for coming. That wasn't a sentence. Thanks to everyone for coming. 
it's been an absolute delight and um, you can find all these people where where it says on their little sticky name thingies um <laughs> so um now i suppose all that's left to say lauren is <laughs> do do that finally thing. stay positive and <laughs> Don't do bad things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that's my say no. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a lovely rest of World Book Day. Bye. 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 Oh, I haven't even clicked it. <laughs>